That's not gonna cut it. tonight and we got about 20 likes it'd be great if we could do better than that uh, i aim for 100 likes on every stream if you can do me a favor thanks so much
viewers and we get some more likes. It helps the stream and the channel in general for discoverability purposes, okay? Connecticut, here we are once again taking a little stroll into the library of 60 likes. Now we're at 60. Again, we're going for 100, guys. If you could please like the stream, and of course, all of the support is greatly appreciated. <laughs> As I was saying, we're taking a walk into the library of Alex and Drea tonight, and I hope you are ready for the solo ride into the Dent Sea Scrolls. Last week, we had quite the show. Ski Sonic in the house. That was a legendary. Nice pull there, Reaper Piss. Got the Snore Strap. Black and white starting things off tonight on the pool side of things. And I hope we'll all have something to pull over today. As I have prepared and curated, I should say, a nice stroll through some nice forums. Of course, we got some video. We got it all. And you are legendary. So let's get to it. No more nonsense. Let's see what Mountain Dew gets real quick, though. I do want to see this pull by Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, great drink. And they get the Hogan, but a single Crystal Hogan, which I believe is the highest ranked Hogan we have right now on stream. Though not quite the six-star foil Hogan, but... A hell of a pull so far, which might be the highest level pull we've had so far. 
But Mountain Dew, you are a legend. Not the highest, not the highest, not the ultra rare. The odds for that are very scary. But nice pull nonetheless, Mountain Dew, to get us started here on the show. So let me turn off the GTA music. We've had enough of it, as great as it is. Good question from scientists here. What was the real Library of Alexandria like? Not answering that. Classified. But let's get to it. This is the CT thread. Now, we've talked about a different CT thread, but this is yet a new CT thread. And it is how t uh, this person, Bacardi, says, we've seen before, had to make a new thread. Problem with old thread. Not like anything was lost except pages of silliness. We've went through that silliness. I believe it was the first episode ever, I believe, was the one we went to. Um, so that was this. So this is the new Connecticut thread. And obviously, Phil, being from Connecticut, repping Connecticut, we know he has to get his hands all over this one, all right? Uh, so here we go. As you can see, uh, as you can see, there's 10,000 posts on this. This is a thread that lasts multiple years. So we're only going to show you the good parts, obviously. Obviously. Guys, we're at 70 cool. likes. If you're 70. having a good time tonight, you give the stream a like, we hit 100 likes, we'll do a celebratory bubble blow. That would be swell if you could do that. That would be swell. Nice Seattle, healing Seattle air there. Uh, I do want to announce, well, well, the show is early. I'll announce it later as well, but now as well, might as well. I'm going to edge you. Show, tomorrow's guest, for that being said, will be the one, the only, the peace of peace coming in hot tomorrow. So get ready for that. 1130 Eastern Standard Time. Well, it should be a hype show in the house. Peace of peace is always a treat. He'll be there tomorrow. So get hyped for that as well. But uh, let's get into it here. We're going to get into our first mention of DSP. And it comes from this. Jay Cool says, yeah, today was fun, whatever meeting it was. And um, someone said, uh, and also too soon. Thanks for that question. It's Steve back up. We're going to give you an update tomorrow on Steve as well. Coming in hot from tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see that. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. It's going to be good. Uh, so here we go. Don't jump says, yeah, today was fun. GG's guys. Well, who was recording the matches? These going to be uploaded. I'd like to watch my matches. Someone says, hey, you can check out those matches on DSP Street Fighter. And they're there, but they're not, they're not really cool. So we're not going to show them. Uh, but they are there. That's the first mention of DSP in this whole entire thread. Now let's get to DSP's first entrance into the, the madness here. And this is one of those threads that have a million posts. Annoying to get around. Uh, tomorrow is not going to be the Philium Dense Spear. We're going to save that. But it's... It, it, so we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow, though. Big up, Snow Yosef in the house. First contribution. I am indeed out of jail. Thank God for that. Because the one, the only Pajit ruined me for a while here. But here we go. King of Hate HD, which is his literal fourth account on this website, is now here. And uh, this is the one that is still active, actually. This is his most recent account. He made it after he started his YouTube channel. And at this point, he was, uh, he was kind of making his way in YouTube land. You know, he did have uh, his, his site and he was very worried about it, as we're going to see later in this thread. Uh, so the King of Hate HD is in, is in play here. Uh, and uh, Rambo and I are going to be the Kineticon Friday. We're, Rambo and I are going to Kineticon Friday and Saturday to hopefully meet up with some fans. <laughs> Big up on the gas to the house. Big ups. Uh, and uh, he said, lots of fans were disappointed when it took us nine hours to get to the last convention we tried to go to, which was in Pennsylvania. So Hartford is looking good right now. Also, good to know the Street Fighter tournaments will be on Saturday as the website is insanely outdated with any kind of useful info. By the way, does anybody know of the convention staff? We tried submitting a request to run a panel and never got a response. Get the hint? <laughs> if you don't get a response to your panel, you know, they must not have wanted she you that much. <laughs> Big up, Scarface Claw. Big up, Snow Yosa. Big ups, everybody. Thanks, man. Thanks, everybody. This is definitely meaningful. <laughs> Snort exchange card. New card there. I'm going to get so fucking distracted. Big up, Salt. It's my birthday. Can I get a hearty parasocial guet fucked? Yes. That's it. Great fact. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going on. I can't make it to the games except this weekend, but should be able to make the next one and the tourney on the 17th. Also considering Summer Jam, but I'll be looking for, I just be looking for a ride. So this must be no car having DSP or maybe just a back problem. We'll, we'll see our way there. But uh, the back problem again, we, we, uh, maybe we'll see we, some people <laughs> drop some member bombs. Down four punch. Oh. It's fucking awesome, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Big ups to everybody. This is definitely meaningful. And you got Liar Stone. That's a hype card, too. Liar Stone card. 
Uh, speaking of Lyrestone, right on time, Phil said, I'd just be looking for a ride. I'll need to get my own room, so I'll probably be constantly uploading, etc. Just like at Winter Brawl. I guess we'll see how things go with the games, etc. events, and if I actually get any kind of tournament-level conditioning or not. Tournament-level conditioning. Tournament-level conditioning. It would be great, guys. <laughs> Our goal is 100 likes on the stream. We're at 90. Go on, we 90. Need 10 more likes, please. Thank you, Phil. Thanks for the interruption there. I know that Spooky will probably be streaming, which means I can't record diddly dick of anything that's worth seeing. Complaining that he won't be able to record anything good for his own channel because Team Spooky will be there, okay? Team Spooky is going to be there. Let's fast forward. Nothing hype comes in here yet. Nothing that interesting makes our way makes it into our uh, way here. King of Hate does, King of Hate HD does come into play here. He says I'll try to make it to games etc. This Sunday. This seems to be a weekly thing. Uh, the Fire and Dice games. Oh, Kool Aid Bath hype. That's a hype. That's a very niche card there. Um, but depends on what time Rambo and I get back from Connecticut. We're driving back on Saturday night. A Fire and Ice I did check on actually, and it's still there. Fire, excuse me, Fire and Dice. This is where this event happened every Sunday. Fire and Dice. It looks to be turned into basically a Magic the Gathering style store. Uh, and I don't see any arcades or anything there, but that's where it took place at the time. So big ups. Still in, still in action here in Connecticut. In Milford, Connecticut. But anyways, I'll try to make it there. Um, Liquid Sword says Phil's not going. Bacardi says, I hope you can come down, Phil. So Phil seems to be very positive, right? Very positive person that people are kind of hype about here in Connecticut at the very least, right? Snow Yosef in the house says, why didn't DSP just master the lag like you said before? Uh, he can't do that. It's pretty tough, right? It's pretty tough to do that. But there we go. Phil said, I'll try to make it, blah, blah, blah. Still, there's nothing much. Nothing much hype yet. We're getting to the good stuff. I'm going to tell you the whole story and nothing but the whole story, right? Um, real quick, 751. This is another... This. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So who won Marvel? Someone asked, who won Marvel at this special style event? Iron Trigger in the house says, the name Dame Cody beat DSP in the grand final. So DSP was in the grand finales. And Blackout was about to beat DSP, but some idiot pressed the guide button on a controller that was synced to that system. They ended up restarting the match, and he lost all of his momentum, which I think means that DSP beat Blackout in this, uh, in this, uh, in this fucking... Oh, we got a raid? Who raided? Because they got to do the challenge. If you raided, you got the challenge. So who's the raider? You, I'm going to give you the challenge, motherfuckers. <laughs> she sucks his dick. Big up, Squala T. Conte. You're a legend, man. Thanks so much. And thanks for, for gracing everybody with that, with that beautiful Jenna for the $5 there. You're a legend. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Brand Dude? All right, Brand Dude, if you're here, here's the challenge. Get ready. This is for everybody. I'm going to play a lot of running fills here right now. Can you find the John Rambo in the running? All right, here we go. Brand dude, you're the challenger right now, okay? Here we go. We're starting now. Let's push the button. Go. It is time. Find the John Rambo. He could be anywhere. He could be any fucking way on this thing. There's hard ones. There's easy ones. Where will he be? Where will he be? I haven't seen him yet. I still have not seen him. I still have not seen him, and I did not see him. So someone else better find him, because <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> he's definitely there. I promise. I promise he's there. I wouldn't troll that hard. That would be kind of trolly and funny though, like to never have him. <laughs> but Brand did not see him, so it's out. So it's over. Game over. Anyways, <laughs> let's move out. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's keep it moving. Anyways, so this person. So it seems like DSP won this one again. This is kind of just. Uh, Nonsense, not that, not that hype right now. Just trying to get through all the mentions here. Nothing that overwhelming. Um, okay. So people are talking here. Let me see, nine, six. Okay. So people here, I want to give a little bit of a leeway here. People are talking about Smash Brothers and things about Smash Brothers, etc. Okay? But then... But then, of course, DSP has to chime in and share his thoughts, right? Because everyone wants to hear those beautiful thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has to hear those, right? DSP has to say, Smash Brothers isn't a fighting game, okay? End of Smash discussion. This is, oh, the big strong man's here. Again, he didn't start this thread. He has no part of this thread. People are talking about fucking uh, Smash Brothers happily. 
Right? This is 2011, by the way. Good question, Reaper Piss. 2011. Over 100. Whoa! 110? On the stream. I think, you know what I think just happened? We bumped, we skipped 100 because we got to 110 so fast. You motherfuckers. <laughs> Thanks to everybody. I'll play the 100. Let's get through this thread first, all right? We'll get to this thread. Uh, I'll see you guys at the tournament this Sunday. Couldn't make it last week because I spent the entire day Saturday Kineticon playing in a, uh, AE Marvelous Capcom 3 tournaments and was all gamed out. So he was gamed the fuck out. And by the way, Smash Brothers is not a fighting game, all right? Smash Brothers is not a fighting game. Don't you dare forget it. Let's move on a little bit more. Bill has to have his opinions heard right there. Not much pushback. It's kind of rare. A lot of pictures we can't see, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of rare that no one pushed back on that. I was expecting it as myself. Nothing really happened. But don't worry. We got some heat coming. We got some heat. We got some heat. All right. Next up, Phil says, um, randomly, because he doesn't have friends anywhere else, he says, why do all the nice cars, why do all the nice cars drive stick? <laughs> Which is a funny statement. <laughs> why do all the nice cars drive stick? Is he talking about the movie Cars, where the cars drive other cars? I don't know, but... <laughs> okay, so why do all nice cars drive stick? <laughs> we better ask uh, cars, but... Okay, I'm far too old to learn new tricks. I dropped the transmission on that thing within the first minutes of driving. Ha ha. Ha ha. Justin, I wouldn't doubt that you're talk that you're taking MK9 on Sunday. I don't think anyone at CT is playing that game seriously besides you. So let's look at that real quick, right? Like this dude that apparently was saying I'm gonna win on Sunday. Hey, you, yeah, you're probably gonna win, dude. Okay, but no one's playing that game seriously. So who cares, right? Thanks. And fuck the new characters. It's back to you for me and AE. I actually want to win. All right. So big hard boy coming in hot here. What a big, strong man laying down the law. People ignoring. People do a great job of ignoring here. Just it's it's almost odd how much they ignore. Uh, usually they can take the bait, but I think by now, like we're we're kind of close to the. I mean, in this episode, of course, there's miles more we can get to, but in this episode, we're kind of getting to the end of Phil's career on this website, and maybe we're gonna start to see why because like he doesn't get the reaction that he wants, right? And I think you know we're, we're gonna get some hype stuff here because people do and end up taking the bait, but. It's just a different feeling here where that we're so far in, the, in this time. But anyways, you guys are a bunch of dicks making me get up before 3 p.m. to get to attorney massively hungover. Then I have to play Marlin, Ply, Honda Tech, Magno, and Rayon. So this is after a tournament. Massive hangover. Massively hungover. <laughs> Getting up before 3 p.m. How dare you? You assholes. Anyway, so this is 2011, so Phil is 29 years old, for those keeping uh, track there. Whatever happens in the old days when you had three rounds of buys and warm-up matches? Fuck, I'm getting old. Finals are up on YouTube, DSP Street Fighter, for anyone interested. This is just, again, it's, it's pictures of the screen. Not really cool. If you want to see it, they're still on DSP Street Fighter. FYI, it was great to see the former Team Hate, TGA, now Team Ferocious in the house. Miss the good old days of uh, TGA, and I hate that I can't travel much because of my back injury. Hope to see you guys come out more often. Had a massive turnout for this tournament. This is awesome. I might get motivated to play shit competitively again. Remembers the Marlin Pie combo video in MVC3 and losing to Basic Bison shit in AE. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. And don't blow this. I want to point out don't blow this because don't blow this is the website that Howard set up to cover fighting game shit. Okay? So if you want to see what don't blow this looks like, hey, I can do that for you. This is don't blow this.com from the Wayback Machine in 2011, this very time, this very time huh? this thread was being shown. Uh, John Rambo in the house, obviously. Cool avatar here. Uh, our good friend Walter, aka Ricardi. 125, 125 likes on this stream. <laughs> big ups, good pull. Is now running fighting game events, and this is it. It's just the forums. Uh, I can't, they're not really searchable, and there's a lot of videos to fighting games, but that was it. This was the website that Howard and John Rambo kind of ran behind the scenes. So 
There we go. That was that one. Um, next, let's get to 1158. Okay, so this is uh, responding to Phil's last post where he talked about really shout out. All of all the finals are on DSP Street Fighter, dude. Uh, he said, Phil, it was good seeing you, man. Hey, not the former Team Hate guys. We we still are Team Hate. We have been using the ferocious team name since late in like since late in the Third Strike days. I hope to get out to the next one of these, but it happens. It was good to see the Connecticut guys. So there we go, Connecticut guys. Next up, we're gonna get Phil pig explaining some stuff. 1468. Um, so this is already the little look into when recording was happening for his channel. Here we go. Uh, Saturdays are when Rambo and I film our pro wrestling commentary show and do some co-op gameplay. Uh, but we're gonna we'll but we'll see what's going on. We need to beat Fear 3, but I don't think we've had much longer to go. Sunday, I'll see if I can make it for the casuals. Fuck watching watching EV, Evo streams. None of the games right now are any good for tournament play. Someone should bring their PS3 so we can troll and watch Evo inside one of the shitty PS Home theaters. Who cares about watching it in home when you can just watch it normally on a PC? Right? So, fuck Evo streams. Fuck the Cannon Brothers already. Right what I'm saying? Someone answered lol to that. Someone said lol to that. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, someone makes a good point here. Um, ba 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 I was thinking that today, Evo is going to be, oh, wait, the game suck ass. So he does have some uh, uh, agreement here from Don't Jump. Uh, Ryan makes a good point here, though. Remember, everyone, just because you are ass at certain games does not make them not worthy for tournament play. Thank you. Thank you so much for that point, Ryan, because that is what's going on here. <laughs> you, uh, you, you are, just because you're not good at a game doesn't mean a lot of people want to fucking play the game. You know, it doesn't mean that you're, you know, it means that everyone else hates it, that no one else can find enjoyment. That just means that you don't. But anyways, you know how it goes around here. You know, we've seen that style of comment many times from our boy. All right, let's get to 1496. Big ups, Chris Dorner, respecter. Letting everybody see Cat. Always a good thing. Snortle Combat. Great card, too. Well, I'll do it this way. See if it's faster. Love your content, brother. And here we go. <laughs> Where's my sound? <laughs> oh, fuck. You couldn't hear it. I'll play it again. Here it is. <laughs> God, all right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> all right, so people are saying, uh, just like people are talking about the game, like it's really like serious talk about the game, so it's not that funny. But here we go. It's long as fucking shit. Uh, Marvel's Capcom Three and Marvel Combat Nine are horribly broken bullshit right now, not viable for tournament play. A is boredom to the level of single character CVS two match. Basically, just talking about bullshit. I'm gonna skip to the end. Um. Right now, we're experiencing the exact same thing that happened in the late 90s, early 2000s. A mass overflooding of the market with new fighting games because of the hype that Street Fighter 4 revived in the gaming community. Right now, it's a bad case of quantity over quality. I, out of everyone, had a unique opportunity this year to play fighting games full-time as a job. <laughs> but after actually playing these new games on a competitive level, I decided against it. They're just not that good. And to me, not that fun. I would have been bored as hell traveling over the country to play these games, dude. Should we hope for better with SF versus Tekken? <clears throat> I'm not so sure with the current track record and the retard level nerfs already announced. I think that game has no hope. So remember... <laughs> So he just said he had the unique opportunity this year to play fighting games full-time as a job. But he thought about it, had a chance to play the games, and decided against it. So maybe is this why? Did, did, did the, is this one of the dominoes that led to Phil making variety-style content on YouTube because these games suck? Because he was definitely looking to be a full-time a fighting game player right here. You could hear it here. He was thinking about it until the games sucked. Right? So yeah, 
<laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. This person, we have a response finally. My only gripe with Mortal Kombat is that it isn't getting enough exposure. What's good about Mortal Kombat is that it's at least getting constant patches to fix budget glitches, unlike Marvel, which charges you 40 bucks to do so. The bad about Mortal Kombat is ridiculous negative edge that goes on. As far as combos, yes, I'm ridiculous. Blah, 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 it's fun. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there we go. Uh, he do Phil does get some pushback uh, in the term of right here. Yeah, the, the right here. So the cur the curate, the creators are handling this game much better uh, than Ultra Mortal Kombat 3. And that game was played in many tournaments, despite how overly broken some characters were in that game. I still don't understand why people still bitch about Mortal Kombat 9. It's like no matter what developers do, no one is ever satisfied. What more can you ask than patches? I guess that's reality. The, uh, the FG's community. Cannot stand the complaints about any of these games. This is talking directly to Phil, by the way. Of course, right at him. Okay. Then we go here. Uh, to this person responds to don't jump. And I was, I, was, I was debating whether to share this this early. But part of me thinks don't jump is DSP. And I'm, I need your guys' help on this one. Because I really think it might be DSP. I have no proof of that, and probably, and it seems like this person was at tournaments, so it might even be impossible. But at the very least, they talk like DSP, <laughs> right? So that that might be enough, right? But let, let let's see what happens. This the king of he, he responds to that. This person says, "Ha ha ha! That's so fucking true, so true. Your opinion about A is very true. I think it's a fun game too. It's exciting, hype on your toes, but I don't think it's very competitive at all." They meant to make it less competitive, of course. That's what people don't understand. See, with the comparison of AO to Third Strike, Perry's added a whole new level of depth to Street Fighter. Nothing is safe in Third Strike. So it just comes off a little DSP-ish. You know what I mean? It's, it's there, right? It's, it feels like it. But I know it probably is impossible. But at the very least, I've never heard someone so emphatically say, True, so true, dude. Yeah. But who knows in the end, right? Who knows? Let's keep moving on. That was the only person that agreed with Phil. There was no further discourse on that. Again, the reason. Whenever I see someone agree with Phil, like there's all, like either they walk back on that agreement after people like t snap them out of it or, or, or they're just like, it's one out of a million, right? That's usually what happens here. But anyways, King of 8 HD says, Depends on, depending on what happens with filming today, Rambo and I may go tonight, but more than likely I'll be there Sunday. Probably will show up in the early afternoon and just chill all day. Got nothing else to do and won't be in a hurry to leave like I have been a few times before. So Phil is 100% in his YouTube filming during the day, going to these tournaments at night. All right? That's, that's, the, that's where we're at now in the timeline of this David character. Okay? So we're moving on here. Uh, King of Hate HD with another update on his schedule for us all. Uh, can't make it to games, etc. I'm too backed up on work over here. This is good. This is good. <laughs> I can't make it to games, etc. I'm too backed up on work over here. Okay? Yes. Making videos of me playing video games is work. No one's arguing that. No one said anything about this, dude. You're talking to yourself. Do we need, why are you so defensive when no one's saying shit? No one cares. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, he is telling himself. I mean, you know what he's trying to do. He's trying to convince himself about this. But, like, who cares? I'm, I'm too backed up on work over here. Yes, making videos of me playing video games is work, okay? So don't you fucking forget it, all right? And I have no desire to play games that have been made outdated. Uh, Capcom fails again by basically admitting they have no idea how to make balanced games. I'd rather make money than play them today. Okay, yes. I'd rather make money. All you peons just playing games? <laughs> you guys suck. Wait, who are you? You fucking lowly, you know, maggots of society. I'd rather make money than play them today. Okay? Got it? And that's the bottom line. <laughs> Pick up support. Lovely. We need a get fuck t shirt. Yeah, we need that. That being said, t shirt. It's Gay Sonic card. First pull for that, I believe. Single pumpkin. Not bad. Room to grow. Great for the correct collection. Hype. <laughs> Very hype start. 
<laughs> okay. Let's move, continue forward positively. Continue forward positively. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining today. Curls and twirls. We're looking for that support. Talk, speaking of support, curls and twirls, we'd love to support you. You go there, they'll, get, they'll fuck your shit up. Good. All right? They will fuck your shit up. You tell them that, though. You say, I want you to fuck my shit up. And they do it. All right? King of Hate HD. What is an option select? Viscont tried to tell me about Zang Zangief having won in Marvel's Captain 1 in 1998, but he's a moron. Viscont taking heat out of nowhere. Uh, Viscont's not in his thread, by the way. I don't know what he's literally talking about. Uh, so maybe that's what we need Steve in the show for. I don't know what he's talking about here, but there you go. He did mention Viscont, and he's a moron. So there we go. Let's move on. As we work our way. Further into the depths here. Whale Tail Jin, shout out. Shout outs to you. Uh, okay. So this is not quite the length that requires the button push, but very close. Uh, damn. Damn. Dog. Duty flavor trick. All right. This thread has become straight up vicious. Amazing how people are such dicks to each other online, but don't do anything in person. Don't do anything in person. Don't do anything in person. You've had people try to do things in person many times to you, but what did you do, my friend? Claim alcoholism. <laughs> That's what you did. Put your hands behind your back, right? That's what you want to happen again? Okay. Okay. It's amazing how people are such dicks to each other online, but don't do anything in person. Just a few years removed now from when Jaha did try to do something in person, <laughs> but then he cried, right? Okay, okay. At least people can attest to the fact that I'm a dick everywhere I go. Nice flex. Nice flex. <laughs> I haven't been attending the gaming center gatherings and probably won't be unless there's an official tournament. Simply because I don't like the current roster of fighting games. I've talked a bit about it in this thread. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. I am watching chat very carefully here. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. I think Needles just said of this a few pages back. If you don't like the current generation of fighting games, move on with your life. That's exactly what I've been doing. Playing everything but fighting games and making good money off it. Again, no one's asking about your money, bro. Look at this flexing. He's trying to flex on people that don't give a shit, have not said anything negative to him, by the way. It's just constant has to flex. I'm making good money, by the way. If someone says that to you, how fast are they not your friend anymore? Or how fast do you like, you obviously you like, uh, what? It's just not even something my friends would do, so I'm trying to think about it. Like if someone said that at your school, you'd be like, ah, okay, what, whatever, you know, all right, you know, <laughs> okay, cool. You know, it's like, you don't need to say that out loud. Douchebags say it out loud. Not douchebags don't say it out loud. They make good money. They don't tell everybody, especially on a fucking thread that no one's asking. Anyways, let's move on. Making good money off it. Great. And you had to prove to everybody it was a fucking uh, job, too, when no one asked. It'd be different if people were saying shit negative about him. No one is. I know he's gotten it for years up to this point. But no one's get, giving him shit on this Connecticut thread. All right, let's keep moving on. That's exactly what I've been doing. Playing everything but fighting is and making good money out of it. Yeah. However, if there was going to be a tournament and someone wanted me to promote it, or, or, do promo or to promote slash do commentary for a stream, I'd be willing to do so, okay? I'm willing to help. I don't want to play in your bullshit, but I'll help. Just to show that I'm not blowing smoke up people's asses. Machinima. Oh! <laughs> I didn't read this one. Machinima, whom I've contracted with to make videos on YouTube. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Whom I'm contracted with to make YouTube videos on YouTube. Oh, excuse me, I am Dark Side Phil. I don't know if you've seen the Dark Side Phil channel. Okay? I'm con whom I'm contracted with. 
<laughs> making it sound like the most important job on the world. He's making it sound like it is the most important job on planet Earth, contracted with to make videos on YouTube. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Baller alert. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just to show I'm not blowing smoke on people's asses, Machinima reached out to me specifically and asked me to make some fighting game videos to submit to their Respawn channel for a special event on August 6th. If the event takes off, they might actually make a new channel huh? on YouTube that's completely focused on fighting games. I opted to ignore the request and do other stuff. Great business. Great businessman, okay? Great business style. You ever wonder why he never got those, uh, you know, um, co collabs and Machinima stopped trying to do shit for him as soon as they could? Because of shit like that, right? Hey, dude, you kind of work for us. We're wondering if you do this, kind of play some fighting games on a separate channel. <laughs> nah, just ignore that. Who needs them? Just keep paying me, though, Machinima, forever. That's how you get, that's how you get, that's how you get first in line for renegotiations, right? That is how you do it right the fuck there, right? And remember, he got his contract negotiated twice, and it might have been anyway, but I'll tell you, you get first in line for reneg reneg renegotiations, I don't know why I can't fucking talk, when you do shit like that. That's 100% true. I have to ignore the request and do hundred other stuff. That's how much I'm disliking the generation of fighters. I miss the days of TGA. We could play all those games. I couldn't stomach to watch a single match of Evo footage because of how badly I feel the gameplay has been diluted in this generation of fighters. I'm sure that's the only reason you decided you couldn't stomach to watch a single match of Evo. It had nothing to do with those pesky cannon brothers, right? But that's just my opinion, and I'm not going to try to shove it down anybody's throat. Oh, thank, lucky us. Lucky us. We don't get the Italian sausage stuffed down our throats. <laughs> Speaking of that, it was 2020. Boy, five bronze star for Tim's steak. Don't take that to eBay, all right? I might get in trouble. Anyways. A lock-in would have sounded interesting to me years ago, but with my back and work schedule of putting out 10 to 30 videos a day, we don't need to know about this. No one cares. <laughs> Stop trying to flex on people that don't give a shit. Anyways, like that's a positive, putting out 10 to 30. <laughs> Yo, very cool. It's not something I'd be interested in. But it's cool that Walter is trying to make stuff happen in CT and that we have a local scene again. I just wish it were still five years ago. I cannot emphasize this enough. No one gives a shit. He's, not, he's just talking about his own like personal shit in paragraphs. Everyone else writes sentences and gets the fuck out. Unrelated note. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show you. This is what the length of other posters are. Right? This is the length. DSP post. Normal people. DSP post. Normal people. You know? That's just how it is. Anyways, uh, unrelated note. For those in Connecticut into classic gaming, there is a game exchange that just opened a, bunch, uh, a couple of months ago in Bridgeport. Across the street uh, from the Merritt Canteen, where the Blockbuster video used to be. Ram and I randomly stumbled upon it on Saturday, and of all things, ran to Rob Aponte while we were there. Big ups Rob Aponte. Rambo pick up two SNES games, and I got an NES Game Genie. This is literally writing in a journal what you did this day. Okay, Rambo picked up two NES, NES games, and I got an NES Game Genie. They had an extremely extensive selection of PS1, PS2, and Xbox games. In addition to NES, SNES, Genesis, and more. Shit! They had six pristine-looking Dreamcast consoles. This is the only store of its kind in this area, so I highly recommend you check it out. If this is your cup of tea. <laughs> That's a random shilling. I don't know where that's from, but I mean, okay, nice, nice. Thanks for shilling. Thanks for shilling for this new place. Okay. Okay. Um, anyways, so the, the line to remember from this, this book was actually uh, amazing how people are such dicks to each other online, but don't do anything in person when he has direct, 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 direct. And I mean direct experience with people trying to do things uh, in person to him. And, you know, we all know how he handled that. <laughs> okay. But anyways, okay. Uh, I, 
Okay, and Rayon, this is the Rayon, the person that made that awesome post earlier, uh, back again. I love this person. LOL, you have no idea how I would act in person. He's talking to DSP directly. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be all friendly, like everything was cool. It just wouldn't make a big scene because I'm not trying to get kicked out of the venue. So great point. Uh, Needles09 says, while well, my opinion differs from yours, DSP, so that means, well, I don't believe, agree with whatever, all the shit you said, I 100%, 100% respect you for the way you put it. I guess that's something. I can understand what you mean. I hope one day there's a future game we both love and can play against each other in a casual and tournament setting. Okay. So what you said was bullshit, but you said it nicely. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Um, you're wasting, too, you're wasting, this Bacardi person is talking to uh, Ryan, or says, you're wasting too much energy due to differing opinions of video games. On a side note, I need to stop pronouncing your your. Nick, your Nick Ryan. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. <clears throat> uh, so this we Liquid Swords has a response to Phil. Uh, going to have to find a working D, a digital converter there. I'm not sure what DC means. You let me know, everybody in chat. What does DC mean in this context? Uh, King of Hate HD response. I have Shaq Fu on the Genesis. It sucks. It's far too rush round oriented. Oh, Shaq Fu was known for being awesome, so that could clearly could not be true. <laughs> huh? Shit, yeah. I forgot about the games exchange in Orange. I saw on the business card I picked up that I, they have that location. I think I might check it out on Saturday when Rambo's here again. Shit, yeah. Oh, Dreamcast. There we go. Working Dreamcast. I'm an idiot. That's when we need Steve back. He helps me with the abbreviations. Anyways, let's move on. I do have Game Exchange pulled up here if you're interested. Game Exchange still exists. It is here. And it's doing well, right next to a Papa John. I wonder how many slices, authentic Italian slices, DSP picked up if that was there. Well, there is Game Exchange. Um, this is the area in orange, if you're interested. Here we go. All kinds of content here in the scrolls. Anyways, let's move. Let's move, let's move. Now, this is Don't Jump. Now, remember I mentioned, talked about Don't Jump, right? I, don't, I, I talked about Don't Jump, and I think they could be DSP, but here they are again. Uh, King of Hatred, again, we have a, an agreement, right? Uh, yep, they talk all this crap about me and hate me so much, but never do anything. I, on the other hand, really do not care. <laughs> it, it, if it sounds like a DSP and it writes like a DSP, we might just have a DSP. But let's keep going. I really don't see any point in creating drama over a fucking Street Fighter game. Uh, I just don't care. <laughs> uh, we'll just let it go. <laughs> uh, I did, Bobby, Craig, Manny, Red, blah, blah, blah. All troll, but never say a word about it to me in public. Not to put everyone... I guess in public, though. If you say he's like in public, then it can't be DSP, literally. If there's literally a person out there, right? But I don't know. It's just he talks a lot fucking like him. Uh, not to put everyone on blast, but I, in general, do not like the CT scene at all. I hated it for Smash 2. Everyone has the same mentality. Just talk shit about everyone else and has no desire to help anyone improve. You can say blah, blah, blah. Or we do casuals here, there. But I think it's pretty much a given fact that the West Coast players are just better people to play and learn from. Like, this sounds like, the, this sounds like Phil too, you know? Also, a nicer bunch of people and are more willing to help others. East Coast players in general also carry a huge ego. Like, who has the biggest ego on the fucking East Coast? I mean, we know who that is. Uh, more importantly, New York. I'm not saying I hate everyone in CT because I don't. Some of you are good, cool people and mean well. You just joined the bandwagon because you hate all my posts, which is fairly understandable. No biggie. So this person is either Phil or probably a fan now. Like, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> the realist responds. Everyone in the state does not like him. Well, every <laughs> and he's talking about DSP, by the way, I, I believe. I mean, it could be talking about Don't Jump, but here we go. Everyone in the state does not like him. Well, everyone else in the state doesn't really have a problem with each other. Yet, it's the state that's the problem and not the one person that no one in the state likes. Right. I think they're talking about DSP there, I think. I'll get your bubbles, by the way. Don't worry. We'll do bubbles. I promise we'll do bubbles. Uh, anyways, uh, let's keep going. Uh, this person, uh, let's go. No, no one kind of cares what that person said. Let's move to 802. Response, this Essex person, 
has a response directly to Don't Jump and just Ooh, about. Batman. <laughs> 150 likes attained. Thank you guys for liking the stream today. Thank you guys for liking the stream today. Oh, Batman. Uh, so this is directly to the, the, the King of Hatred part. Just, just all he wants to talk about is DSP here. Hold on to your butts here. See, this is where I don't understand you. I've been nothing but nice that you entered the scene both in person to you and on the boards. It wasn't until you started chiming in on my posts with your asshole-like demeanor that I started to defend myself. The only reason I did so, too, was because it made no sense to me why you would do that out of the blue. You're right. Every time I've seen you, I was nice. Oh, so it is a real person, then. It 100% is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I thought, but I guess you are just a dick to everyone, no matter how they treat you. That's how I will act towards you. And don't bother responding. I don't look at your post, but I happen to be on a two-hour layover. I need a novel to read. <laughs> I haven't seen you in person since the start, so from now on, the kindness stops. McCarty. If you want to get rid of all the problems of this thread, you need to cut out the cancer, just like the Smash players did. So they're talking about this don't jump, but... Mm, <laughs> it sounded to me like someone real, but... All right, it sounded to me like DSP so fucking much, but all right. We're, DSP has to, has to climb in here. Um, these are some... Some uh, don't jumps... Oh, because, so, yeah, here we go. So Bacardi says, Sai, if everyone in this thread that is posting see me IRL, do the following. Stop, take a deep breath, realize that you're baiting, getting rid of into a physical altercation over a video game, realize that you're not eight, and stop projecting the kid that stole Castlevania 2 from you in second grade on Don't Jump. <laughs> so anyways, here's some old style memes. See, this is massively old memes. But guys, we're just playing games, all right? Some play for fun, some to get better, and some just like hanging out with their friends, and this is their common bond. I know I've made tons of friends through Street Fighter that later on became good friends beyond the game. Seriously, guys, it's really not worth it. Just play games and have fun. Thank you so much for that, Bacardi. Uh, don't jump here, comes in. This man has inspired me. I'll stop writing novels and being a neg negative Nancy. I love Sin City. Bill does that same thing, too. When a big name or a na no known name on the forums puts that hammer down, he says, like, okay, okay, I'm done. I don't know. It just is weird. All right? It's just weird. Next, we move forward. That little dr mini drama's done. <clears throat> Let's move on to this. King of Hate HD coming in hot, putting his penis on the table, saying this. I challenge anyone in this thread to a $1,000 money match in Marvel's Capcom 3. I'll be using a trackball as my controller. Okay? So, remember, you can write updates after responses come. Okay? So, wouldn't you fucking know it? I'm going to show you everyone challenging him, but wouldn't you fucking know it? When people accept his challenge, what happens? Update, my trackball just broke, guys. So I'm pretty broken up about it. Sorry, all the bets off. Yep. So, as soon as people... We've seen this before. When people agree to the money match, somehow the money matches don't happen. Okay, okay. DSP, can we do it with flight simulator sticks or mouse and keyboard? <laughs> Rayon says, damn, why is it uh, that every, after every Evo, everyone hops on a character's... Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's got to be funny about how, like, the controllers they're going to use, you know? I, it's, kind of, it's kind of a joke. It was kind of a joke money match, uh, to be honest. The trackball was just a joke. And again, then Phil had to make this awesome joke that the trackball broke, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we have had stories of him actually doing that. Stories actually doing that. But that was kind of a, a meme one, to be fair. Uh, anyways, all nonsense, all nonsense, all nonsense. Let me get back to, <clears throat> we get back to the madness here. Okay. You know, I think I might have spoiled it. You've earned this, right? We've all earned this, I think. You ready? You guys ready? We're going to do this together. <laughs> she sucks his dick. Big up, Silver Black 31. I gotta move that so it doesn't block the fucking pull. Your pull's sexy cat! 
new card. Big ups to the sexy cat. Two pumpkins, sexy cat. Nice. Anyways, the longest post <laughs> I think I've ever seen <laughs> is here. What else we got to do on this Saturday night but read it? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Had honest intentions of attending Gaming Center's Casuals today. Then ended up doing an eight-hour marathon of New Super Mario Brothers Wii with Rambo last night that lasted until after 2 a.m. Then had to stay up four more hours to get the footage uploaded. DGPO. Good game, peace out. It's also the name of the, the initial uh, rollback netcode. Uh, the name of that system was called GGPO. So shout out to the Canada Brothers there. I actually think people are missing the real concern. Okay, if he talks about too serious shit. Like, so again, he didn't go. He didn't go. He's talking about the, the tweaks, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all this. He says, so what was it? It's a cash-in, okay? It's a cash-in. Capcom was getting complaints from major arcades in Japan that nobody had incentive to play Street Fighter 4 after Super Street Fighter 4 was released exclusively for consoles. So they saw dollar signs and pumped out AE, not even caring about balance. Insert Ono trolling joke here about purposely making characters overpowered for community spirit. And of course, now the console community began to bitch because they didn't have the latest and greatest version of Street Fighter 4. Now they do, and people are pretty blah about it. 21 out of the top 32 at Evo. Someone that doesn't care about Evo. Remember? Remember when he said that? <laughs> 21 out of the top 32 at Evo playing the same two overpowered characters. They didn't win. But remember that you're talking about the best in the world. <laughs> so... They're playing the two overpowered characters, but they didn't win. I'm not sure if that strengthens your case, brother. Uh, most local tournaments can be dominated by Faye and Yoon, just like Sagat back in vanilla. And it's not because of the skill level of the players at all. So what is Capcom really doing with Ultra Marvelous Capcom 3? Sure, there's nerfing Magneto and Wolverine, but Hagar and Tron? More zero sense gameplay changes, just like the ones from AE. And one thing is to be said about it, it has its flaws. It's so fucking boring. I don't read any more of this. It's not even, it's just talking about a game, literally. He wrote a fucking, he wrote this about game tweaks. I guess that shows passion, but come on, man. No one else is taking this long. <sighs> okay. We're moving on positively. Of course, positively. Don't Jump. Remember our friend Don't Jump? Who we still are not sure about? Don't Jump's in the house. What do they say? I should try to learn from you and put my words more beautifully. Right. Right. Very normal. Very cool. Very normal and cool. I know I used to say that Super Street Fighter 4 is ass, but no, honestly, after seeing uh, all these new games coming out, I wish it was all pl still playing the game. I really feel like they don't ever give a crap anymore. You're, they're just milking us for cash. So in 100% agreement with DSP, right? Incredible. Anyways. Mizuki comes in hot and says, responding to DSP, says, sorry, but you act like this is something new. Capcom has always done this. Five versions of Street Fighter 3, three versions of Street Fighter 3, Two and then three, <laughs> four versions of Dark Stalkers. The list goes on. The only difference is that now instead of an arcade taking a hit of a few thousand dollar upgrade, you're still paying a quarter. You need to pay directly out of the pocket for the new version, right? So where's the passion gone? I'm excited. I'm excited. It keeps everything fresh. Whether it makes it better or worse doesn't matter. It renews that passion in me to play, to sit down and grind it out with some friends. I love fighting games. I don't know about you all, but I'm excited. Now that's a person with fucking passion, right? That's somebody that cares. You've said <laughs> this is responding to them, responding to DSP, by the way. <laughs> You've said all of this literally about 78,000 times now. <laughs> and seriously, bitching about Capcom making updates to their game still? This is like bitching that you have to pay taxes. <laughs> God, right back at him. Cryonic in the house. Good point, Cryonic. Good point. All right, we get DSP's responses here. Of course, they respond to Mizuki. And here, okay, ready? You ready? All right. We 
got a lot of those today. I apologize. <laughs> I guess I'm getting old. Okay. I guess I'm getting old. 29 year old Phil. I miss the days when I could play a game, take my time learning it, not have to grind in training mode and play shitty, laggy online play to master bread and butter strategies within two weeks of release. Or else get my ass handed to me by every single person, even in casuals. I want to take a picture of this and put that in the Hall of Fame. Is there a bigger look into someone's mindset than this sentence right here? I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I don't want to try. Wait a second. I got to right. try. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. I have to try? Amazing. Is there, is there a bigger look into someone's mindset than right the fuck there? Incredible. Big ups, Lyrestone, six star version, six silver star version, man. Everything is so fucking rushed these days. I love the evolution of Marvel's Capcom 2, where over the first three years, not months, of release, the game constantly evolved into new discoveries in the game's engine and gameplay. And then the game just settled into the high level play that ended up being when it was retired from Marvel's Capcom 3. Imagine if instead it was constantly patched. Excuse me. No HVB. It's broken. Why is Magneto so fast? Why does Tron's assist do so much damage? Anyways, it would have completely changed the game and in the long run made it worse, in my opinion. I did drive to TGA to play games. All right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. But look at the games. Third Strike, blah, blah, blah. They've been out of quite a while. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not reading all this. I'm reading all this. You were right. Capcom does have a history of doing this. But Street Fighter 2 is an exception. They were trying to refine the gameplay of the original competitive fighting game into something they felt was the epitome of the genre. They, re they released 18,000 versions. What's the difference? And I feel... What's the difference of patches and new games? <laughs> I'd rather patches, to be honest. God, you just want more games. All right. And just defending, the, defending his, 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 bitch, his favorite game, right? That's what he's talking about. Street Fighter 2 can, can do nothing wrong. Anyways. I can't understand why that's frustrating. It annoys me that I even put any time into learning the game when it's all going to change in November. And if I hadn't made money off the video... Oh, here we go again! Where's our bell for making money? Oh, God, we have to let them know. You better let everybody know I'm making money. <laughs> it annoys me. And if I hadn't made money off the videos I made off Marvelous Capcom 2, I'd probably have a, be a lot more livid right now for the time wasted. This is just trying to be a fucking... Like, trying to make sure everyone knows. Everyone knows. I make money, guys. Unlike you, okay? All because he started putting videos up at the right exact time. And he started the right, fuck, right exact genre, which is fighting games. She sucks his dick. Amazing. Amazing. Big ups to Pasta Maker. Can, can, can admit being old when he is 29. Can't now when his age is affecting his Street Fighter Six gameplay. Yeah, he, he did for a second flirt with the idea of saying that, like, maybe I can't do Aki because I don't have the re reflex anymore. But then when he's playing, that just goes away. And he's just, now he just finds, you know, drop inputs, all that shit. He doesn't say that when he's actually playing, though. It's when he has some seconds for of reflection, he might mention that. Big ups, Dr. Pignosis, by the way, for the re-up as well. Let's keep moving on. But that's just me. I'm not into it like I used to be. Probably because I'm way more involved in the bigger picture now. I'm way more involved into the bigger picture now than when I was when I was just part of the Street Fighter community. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm part of the bigger picture now. I'm involved in the bigger picture now. Okay, guys? I'm going to read this one more time. I miss the days when I could play a game, take my time learning it, not have to grind in training mode and play shitty, mo <laughs> shitty online. Anyways, I'm about to read it again. You get the point. Not that awesome. <laughs> and here, don't jump. Your favorite friend of mine, don't jump. Before I say anything, I totally agree with King of Hatred. Of course you do. Everything he says you love. You fillet him every post. 
Why invest my time in anything? It's just going to be wasted time. Well, do you make money playing it? Because DSP made sure you knew he did. God, look at this. Look how long it writes. There are two people that write posts this long. And also, there's two people that write this long with those fucking caps. Here we go. But now the, the water gets more muddled here. If Hate HD comes in and says, please don't take anything that I've said in this thread as agreement or associating with anything Don't Jump has said. So now he's saying, like, hold, slow your roll, Don't Jump. People hate you. So I don't, I don't want to be hated too. I've just been asked recently about why I have been contributing to the CT fighting, game, CT fighting game scene. Honestly, I feel, I honestly feel bad that I haven't been attending the gaming center sessions. I'm just trying to give my opinions and explain why I'm not that interested right now. But I fully support the CT scene, what Walter is doing, and it's not to say that I won't eventually come back to participate. I'll have to cover. He's already saying cover, by the way, in 2011. I'll have to cover. You know what cover means? It means cover his TV screen with, his, with the viewfinder of his camera and put it up to YouTube and play it. That's what cover means, by the way. Big up, Taco Chan, right on time. I do agree that this thread has been derailed with insults and stupidity. If people knew how to state an argument... <laughs> if people knew how to state an argument intelligently... Instead of with ridiculous overgeneralizations bordering on silly, I don't think the thread would have gotten this bad. <laughs> right, right. At least what I'm posting... <laughs> God. At least what I'm posting, people are giving intelligent responses and we're huh? discussing things. That's the purpose of a discussion board forum. And I think it's constructive to talk about these things. Even if I don't necessarily like the games that are being played right now. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the stream, please give it a like. So far, 175 likes and climbing. That's crazy. Thank you, guys. That's crazy. Thank you, dictator. <laughs> Fuck. At least what I'm posting, people are giving intelligent responses. Yeah, because your first response is from don't jump. And don't jump is probably you. That's what I think. <laughs> Anyways, move on positively. We can get through this together. No one's dick writing. No one's responding to Phil there. No one's responding. No one's responding. We'll get back to DSP's next co comment in 235. Here we go. So I want to show this. I want to show, I, just because he's responding to other people, we can see it all here. It says, uh, this person, Little Dragon, said to Phil, Phil, where, where were you at? I drove down 45 minutes and you can't, this is a great one, but they, they're joking in the end. But listen to this. Where were you at? I drove down 45 minutes and you can't drive five minutes to support the CT gaming scene. What's up with that? Oh, well, I'm just kidding. Not really, though. Uh, it would have been good to see at least one more old school player other than Drew and myself down there. Drew filled me in and told me you were busy working on videos for YouTube. So no worries. Always next time. Well, he's already he already seen that he can make money on YouTube. So he said, fuck all you all. Fuck all y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what happened. I can make money? Fuck CT scene. Who needs it? I know he said he would support it. But let's see if he's supporting it with his actions. Right? You can say you support something. Let's see if he's supporting it with actions. He says, yeah, I had every intention of going to games, etc. this week. I was doing a cup playthrough of a game that we had thought was only four hours long the night before. Ended up playing it till 2 a.m. Then I spent four hours getting the footage uploaded. Let me tell I mean, I know back in the day, YouTube was much different. But babysitting has started in a big way. And he's already babysitting. That's why he can't have kids. He's babysitting. He's already been babysitting since 2011. So yeah, didn't wake up till something like 2 p.m. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> And I usually go to dinner with my parents on Sunday. So the weekly parents din din new lore. A little bit too niche to make a card out of that, but I'll keep it going. <laughs> and I usually go to dinner with my parents on Sunday. So I would have been worth it to show up and have to leave in an hour anyway. But it's cool that you came down, man. The venue is great. And it looks like it'll only get better with time, bigger with time. <laughs> so it's cool that you went, but I'm not going. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Yeah, is that where the dinner with the, what you, you deserve a dinner a week? Is this where this started? Maybe so. We'll never know. Here we go. Blackout2021 says to Phil, let me say this one goddamn thing. Saying there is no point to learning a game because an update will come out later is complete and utter bullshit. You learn a game because you like it. In our cases, we love fighting games, so we are automatically driven to want to learn them. It's not like the engines get completely redone. You can still learn basic fundamentals, like blocking and knowing what to punish what. If you like fighting games, you're going to play them. You're not going to say some bull like there's no point. Oh, you clearly haven't met the OG known as Philip Burdell, sir. You are then just making an excuse for yourself because you don't think you're going to have the ability to learn a game again. Hit him with it. Bam! Why are you fucking comment, Blackout? Why are you fucking comment? All right, Philly. How are we going to respond? Just because you love fighting games doesn't mean you have to love every single one. Games take time to grow. <laughs> games can grow on you unless you're some diehard who only plays fighting games. I admit, I actually used to be one of those people. But as I've gotten older, I've gotten broader tastes. If I'm going to invest time to become tournament level at a fighting game, I want to make sure that I get something out of that investment. That works with games like ST, which will never have a sequel, and Marvelous Capcom 2. It does it with, it does it with the current generation of Capcom fighters, where they totally retool the games after one year and force you to relearn and reinvest your time. Don't get me wrong. I like Capcom fighters. I think that Marvel Capcom 3 is a blast to play in a casual setting. But if I'm going to love the game, I need more time with it. And that's impossible when it gets patched first a month after release, then gets a totally new version in November. Unless you're the kind of person who solely focuses on fighters and therefore enjoys the experience of totally relearning those games several times a year, then you're huh? going to feel like the game is asking too much of you. Capcom did a great thing by releasing Street Fighter 4, but in my opinion, they're going to lose the casual audience. They keep throwing out new versions of the game so frequently. That's why there's such controversy surrounding that game right now. Marvel's Capcom 3 right now. Craig Keller says, DSP is trolling now too. I remember when you had to put in work to troll a thread. I miss the old days when I had to create my own image macros, print them, and then mail them to people who I wanted to troll. Now it's all easy mode bullshit with online and such, and the new fags are able to get away with murder. Damn, I don't know where that came from, but all right. <laughs> Damn, Craig Keller. Missing the old days of trolling. That's a new one. Never seen that. But I'll just, just to show you, um, no one really cared about what Phil said. No one cared. No response. No one cared. No one cared. Uh, Iron Trigger, though, he does care. He does care. And he says, no offense, DSP, but it pretty much just sounds like you don't care enough to be good anymore. <laughs> oh, Iron Trigger, bang, bang. <laughs> you got that fucking right. <laughs> Great one. Great one. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> TX James in the house. <laughs> you see it? That's why he only goes to tournaments where skill is scarce. Check his vids. You'll know what I mean. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Check his vids. You'll know what I mean. <laughs> 2011. 2011. I'm going to remind you what timeline we're in right now. <clears throat> uh, this Bacardi is saying he was at the last gaming Cedra tournament. Again, that's a very small tournament. That's why that person's laughing at this kind of the face that means, oh, what does that mean? Bobby Pigo is saying the same thing. Uh, you know, I, I go to those local tournaments. What's up? You know, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm hoping this, I don't think this image works. Yeah. And this image does not work, unfortunately, but someone's doing an image to that. So I'm sure it was hopefully funny. Uh, but there we go. Um, 
Don't Jump comes in, and I hope you got your lube, because he's bending over again. Okay, I see that you as well have no idea what trolling means. KOF is not trolling. He's stating his opinion and doing it maturely. <laughs> You can almost hear him sucking, right? You can hear the sucking sound if you listen hard enough. And you also hard enough. He's not done, though. Exactly. Capcom will lose the audience they're aiming at, right? Exactly. You're so right. King of hate. <sighs> Whatever. I'm not reading any more of this, but it's just very odd, right? It's very odd. People are mad because of the views as a casual gamer. Drop the competitive cap for a second and look at this as an average everyday consumer. I don't know what he's talking to there, but... Anyways. It's just, it's just weird, right? All right, let's go. No one cares for a while. We're going to go to fast forward in time. Uh, Rob still has problems cheering for me. It's a deep, deep cut. I don't know what that means, but Phil responds with, I seriously just busted out laughing at this. Fucking hooray. On a related note, does anyone in CT have a Quamba, whatever, joystick? Mine just arrived in the mail. I think it's bricked. The damn thing doesn't respond at all when plugged into my PS3, 360, or PC. I posted the Quamba thread, but it seems like all that guy says to do is please send internal pics and then expect you to somehow fix the problems yourself. Also, doesn't help the entire instruction manual is in Chinese. Anyone else have a problem with these? Karen. That's a se semi-Karen, right? <laughs> a semi-Karen moment. Oh, it's Chinese. Uh, sir, turn it around. That's English on the back. Oh, right. You didn't tell me that, though, okay? I was looking at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's move forward positively. Let's move together positively. Uh, this is don't jump again. I want to see again. I kind of I, like. Let's read. Let me read one thread here just to see. Right? Is it DSP or not, dude? Honestly, if you play this kind of week, why don't you dominate tournaments then? Sounds exactly what you say to me, right? Just because you play a top player at time doesn't auto you're good. Eh, eh. I'm not gonna waste too much time in that. But it, it just, I could do. I should do a further audit to see if that is really DSP. But, I mean, he said he goes to tournaments, so there you go. What does that mean, you know? Anyways, DSP's back. He says, Fuck! All of my plans for this weekend just fell through, which means if I can get my lazy old ass up in time, I can come by games, etc. to get my ass whooped. You know it's bad when it's been so long since you had to get up at a set time. You consistently sleep through your alarm as if it doesn't even exist. I need to get a new clock that yells, get the fuck out of bed, Rip Van Shithead. I'm pausing for laughter here. You guys can laugh now. You done? Mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm done laughing. So this is the guy, remember, the guy that said how much recording videos is work? He's sleeping through his alarm. And again, semi trying to flex, like, hey, you know, it's bad when it's been so long that you had to get up at a set time, unlike you guys, right? <laughs> gin, 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 hung over again. Anyways, debating whether or not to open my Quamba Coref and trying to fix the USB cable, if that's really the issue, so I can try out the stick on Sunday. Oh, I just want to say, no one responded to the stick at all. No one, no one said it. <laughs> So Phil's just bringing this up again by himself, and no one cares. <laughs> so here's an update on my stick, boys. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't give a shit the first time, but okay. <laughs> I didn't give a shit the first time you brought it up, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, I need to get Titus laugh on the soundboard for Phil's jokes in the forums, because they're always great. <laughs> I'll get the clip up. <laughs> That's funny enough. Oh, God. There we go. I'll read it again. I'll read the line again. This is totally organic. This is organic comedy. Okay, let me make sure you can hear it. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can consistently sleep through your alarm as if it doesn't exist. I need to get a new clock that yells, Get the fuck out of bed, Rip Van Shithead! Ha <laughs> ha!
There we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, blah, blah, blah. Wait for the place was offered by the vendor. So, the, by the way, the vendor um, did offer a replacement, by the way. So, there we go. Phil carried his way into a replacement. The guy was probably like, could you open up the, the, like, the, the main thing and show us? Uh, this guy's trying to give me the open shit. You think I can just open it up and fix it? Fuck you. All the instructions are in Chinese, whatever language this is. This Oriental language. <laughs> you know it's what he said. That's all conjecture. I don't know, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> Anyways, one more thing to Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat 9 players. Did, you, did they ever improve the net code or fix the matchmaking? I did a set of games online yesterday with Freddy. I want to get shit on by people in the comments of my videos saying I don't know how to find a match with a good connection. Already getting shit on by the people in comments. Don't you love those people in comments? Last time I played Marvel Capcom 9 online, matchmaking didn't even work and you had to join a room to find a match that would work. Of course, I got shit on by YouTube commenters for not knowing that right out of the box. Now it seems that people are saying the opposite. Have ranked matches been fixed or are people just being idiots as usual? Those are your fucking employers, aren't they? Your fans, your watchers, your fucking viewers are literally your employers at this point, man. I mean, you can't be, I mean, you already hate them. <laughs> it's pretty early to already hate them, right? God. I'm looking out if I could find any uh, examples of this. I will look. A seal gets their pull. Focus on that. Uh, of us Capcom 9 DLC. We don't want DLC. We want... Oh, God. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There's got to be something we could show here that's hype. I just want to see if the comments are, are correct. Uh, day one casuals. That's the most salt, probably, right? Of course, he's going to win. Watch. We watch. Yeah, let's go back to Game Exchange real quick, and then we'll zip to Marvel Comp. Right? Hey, I'm still mad, love. <laughs> Here we go. Marvel's Capcom Day One. The same year. Let's see how that goes. Whoa. Damn, we have all these characters now. I don't know who to pick. Oh, wow. Well. Ermac, right from the beginning? He's not even like a secret oh, character. Oh, shit, Snell's in there. She got nice titties. Ermac. Oh! Giant titties. Ooh! So so Nightwolf. Yeah, she looks like a reptile. Jade's in there to start. Hey, pick Kratos. Fuck that shit. Noob? Noob Saibot. <laughs> but they call him Noob. <laughs> noob. <laughs> <laughs> Vader, fucking smoke, Sector, Striker, different. Kano, Jack. What the fuck happened to Jax? Look at his face. We're strict. Yo, look at Jax's face. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yo, from from my angle, it looks Yo. like his eyebrow comes all the way up. Yo, to he's got he's got a little pimp mustache. Look at that. It's like the little teenager mustache with giant fucking ears. A cop. Yeah, he always was. That's a pimp mustache? All right. <laughs> okay. Dude, no, how do you not know that? He's like a guy with a backwards hat. Is Sonya Blade? She has some table bitties. Oh, yeah, this is Rambo. Oh, sorry. We have, I can tell you, it's Ram. It's the p three people playing this game right now are DSP, Rambo, and Howard, the legend in the house. This is the threesome of, of old, the threesome of ages, two friends, one non friend in the house, Howard and Rambo. Know that. Is Sonya Blade? She has some table bitties. Hey, there we go. go. Oh, fuck. Look pick at Baraka. Pick, pick, pick a ball. You pick whoever you want when you play. Pick Whoa. <laughs> this is a uh, secret guy. Yeah, there's Kratos. Kratos. Oh, shit. Can, Can we Kratos? choose, please, boys? Whatever her name is. The forearm bitch. Wait, why is there two Kratos? Kratos? Why can't I pick Kratos? Oh, there's, I guess, one for each side. What? Shiva? What's up? A Doom Messiah, oh, what'd you shit. say? That's weird, man. Kratos. I agree with the thinking Cat the Illusion has right now. This is bad. This is bad. Do Messiah, give a Pripartitis laugh and I'll tip five dollars. We'll see if it, if, if, it, if it comes naturally, all right? That's what I'll do it. Just pick somebody. The real Kratos and the fake yeah. Kratos. You pick Sindel? That was my character in MK3. Whoa! He's <laughs> picking up. What's going on? That was my character in MK3. What the fuck? Does anybody know the codes for this? What's the no. codes? Oh, I'm sure you can find them online. Oh, okay, okay anyways, I'm done. I'm bored already. Here we go. Fuck, we're some random shit. I want to see a little bit of gameplay, though. You are pathetic and weak. <laughs> oh my god, look at her face. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nice boob jab. Whoa, nice boob jab. Okay. All right, so we won't see the comments we're looking for, though, because they're not playing online. But anyways, I'm not looking anymore, but... This is fucking hilarious. Can't wait to hear more of this. The reaction to the x-ray move is priceless. 
watching this over and over until part two comes out. Yeah, you see? That's how, he, that's how Phil's getting all his money. <laughs> I watch part two. I can't wait. <laughs> what? I can't wait to see when Phil sees M- Mylena's, Mylena's uh, third outfit. It's going to be funny. I'm sure it's going to be funny, 10-year-old. Anyways, let's move together positively in, in, a, in a positive fashion as we continue this night. Um, <clears throat> okay, next up. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go to 2-1-9-2-5-8-1. Take a little bit of a jump here in time as nothing much has happened for a little bit as we move on. Uh, and the King of Hate HD is in the house and says, I just want to relink everyone to the Gaming Center tournament thread. Stupid SRK. It took me 20 minutes to find it because the search function times out and the tournaments and events section is a cluttered mess. Maybe one day they'll wise up and actually categorize the tournaments by region, but probably not since nobody puts any significant time thought into this site. Let it run itself, get mods to work for free, run Evo, collect paycheck. Genius. You know who he's talking about here, everybody? Well, there was two people that ran SRK. They both have the same last name. And that last name <laughs> is Cannon. So he is already shitting on the Cannon Brothers. Uh, well, we've known he's done it for years now. We've already like five years deep in our hatred of the Cannon Brothers. And we see it again in August of 2018. Liquid, 2000, <laughs> excuse me, 2011. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Liquid Sword says, so tell us how you feel. How can, tell us how you feel, Phil. <laughs> um, Mayor Mc, Justin says, if you're looking for games, etc., it won't show up. Gaming, etc., is how it's listed. Dumb fuck. And Phil responds, LOL, typos for the win. I actually did search for gaming, etc., but fucked up my post here. No. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Typos for the win. Am I right, guys? Fellow gamers. That's what it sounds like, right? Like, I'm not. <laughs> LOL. Typos for the win. Right, guys? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's, like, so dumb. It's so bad. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right. Bahaha DSP, king of retired fighters. Which has to be an insult, right? I think that's an insult, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's move on positively. We're getting to the end of our first thread of the night. I have three planned. We might not get to the third one if we keep going as slow as I am now, which probably will happen. You know how that goes. All right, King of Fate HD now talking about that very event he mentioned earlier. Good stuff to everyone at Gaming Center yesterday and to Walter for organizing and running the events. By far the biggest turnout so far, and things are looking up for the CT scene. Now I just need to learn how to play the damn games. But I'll be playing Third Strike, so at least I have she something I'm good for dick. at the next tournament. <laughs> Thanks, Doom Messiah. You didn't have to, but I appreciate it, obviously. Vids of the finals and some of the semis are here. Oh, big ups Jaha for the 300 shield, the weapon he used to push, push Phil down the aisle. Also good stuff to Howard, Chris, John Rambo, and all who contributed to the stream. It was really good quality. And if we keep this up, we can build up the rep of gaming, etc. to make it even more hype and get more attendees. There's also raw footage of the stream for the entire day up on John Rambo's YouTube channel. But it's in two-hour blocks, so it's a bit more clunky to navigate. Listen to this! I want this! This pissed me the fuck off! Listen to this! This is his friend with his own YouTube channel that he is trying to get get off the, get off the ground, right? What does he say? It's a bit more clunky to navigate, so check out my shit. That's bullshit, man. And this is someone that is your friend. You know what I'm saying? You get it, right? It's not a big deal, but it's a deal. It's something. It's just a small look into what you can do as a friend, what normal people do to friends, and what non-normal people do to friends. Or narcissistic people do to friends. Come on, man. You do not have to say anything negative at all. But it's in two hour blocks or don't even it's in, it's in two hour blocks or you could just say there is also raw footage for the stream for the entire day up on John Rambo's YouTube channel. Stop there. Stop there. But what does he have to say? It's in two hour blocks. So it's a bit more clunky to navigate. 
Oh yeah, I want those 10 minute videos. Those are the best. That's pissed me off. I'm heated. Because you don't have to do this. It's just something you chose to do that makes you an asshole. Oh, you want to ch shill your website? Okay, cool. Shill your friend's website. That's nice. But don't add a negative thing to it. That is why you're an asshole. It's not a, a, all this shit. You could, this has nothing to do with all the normal shit people hate about you. This just is a, make you're a shit human being to do this to your friend. At the, and this is someone you do say is your friend. If it was Howard, you could say he wasn't your friend. Even though you had him over to your house dozens of times, played games with them dozens of times. But yeah, they're, you're not friends. Okay, fine. This is your friend. Anyways, my vote for September is the only one tournament and do it on the 18th. That way it's been a month and people will be f fiending for competition. Fiending for competition. If you start having bi weekly events, the tournament will probably not be as high as people will say, well, I can always go to the next one. Plus, it gives the locals more time to have their Saturday, Sunday casuals without worried about not getting enough time to practice because there are so many tournaments each month. P.S. Yes, this is selfish, but don't run the next one on the 25th because I'll be at a wedding that day and I want to play third strike. A wedding on the 25th. Whose wedding was that? I wonder. I don't know. But anyways, that was fucked up, man. Shitting on your friend. Anyways, let's move on positively. And we're going to see here uh, the appearance of my, one of my favorite phrases and yours. Uh, 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 a word we've been hearing about a lot recently. It's 2729. <clears throat> And Sig says, I agree if they fix projectiles going through and blah, 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 saying shit. Uh, DSP's response, don't know if this is serious or a joke. No projectiles went through my Freddy's body. But I do remember a lot of pattern play. P -p -p pattern play. Da -da 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 -da. P -p -p pattern. Anyways, pattern play beating me because I don't know or play the game. Or me beating it because it's pattern gameplay. Sorry to those I beat, just being honest. So let's focus on this sentence here. But I do remember a lot of pattern play beating me because I don't know or play the game. So I don't know the game and I don't play the game. Or me beating it because it's pattern gameplay. Sorry to those I beat, just being honest. So hold on a second. We see this to this day, so I want to make sure. Uh, he gets beat by pattern play because uh, he didn't know it and doesn't play the game but that he also beat pattern play because it is pattern play. Okay. Makes sense. You found along. <laughs> so he, 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 he can't beat pattern play, but also can beat pattern play. Okay. 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 Uh, like that low kick from Melina or her dive kick leading me to get comboed afterwards, even when I blocked it or that Melina or her dive click uh, said it twice. Oh yeah. Double jeopardy. Never mind. Thanks, Walter. Double double jeopardy. Shout outs. Next time will be different. I'll just break my joystick and say it doesn't work before I play the same guy twice in one night. Very cool. Very funny. Very hilarious. Oh, I was gonna say this is a long post. I thought it was don't jump, but I'm not looking at any more don't don't jump bullshit. Anyways, let's move forward positively. Uh two where is that? Two seven five three. I think we get a mention of DSP here. Oh, yeah. Sigs responds. I wasn't implying that projectiles had gone through Freddy during our match. I was stating that's a known glitch with the character that could have a serious effect on match outcomes, such as the Scorpion Spear or Sub Ice Ball whiffing and costing the player what would have been a combo. Whatever. Not really important. Wish I didn't stop. Anyways, we're going fast forwarding in time again. Let's move into our time machines. We're going a few months later. And Phil said, just wanted to say, I hope everyone is safe during Hurricane Irene. The skies here look like they're about to open up and spit out some demons and shit. Stay indoors and be smart. Thanks, DSB. Thanks. <laughs> spit out some demons and shit. Very cool. Very hip. <laughs> yeah, years later, he would have to beat his own demons. Spoilers, he did it on stream. And the camera was on. 
That better be in June the King's documentary now. You could use the sound clip. Later he would realize the camera was on. <laughs> and there was a hurricane that night. A hurricane of dust. <laughs> so, we all know the load never came out. So, Anyways, King of Hate HD back in the house. So I played my first set of player matches on uh S three what's three S O E everybody let me know we need Steve here for that but I don't know connections range from pretty good to eat a forty percent combo and never see the first hit due to frame skipping but this is way better than A E and light years ahead of the horrendous marvelous Capcom marvelous Capcom three net good I went seventy nine and three L O L but they were player matches against obvious noobs. Here's hoping they actually do fixed rank matches this week as promised. So 79-3. Look at the whoa, huge. But he said he played noob, so. Also, anyone else anyone else find it hilarious that the sound effects actually play before a rollback? In one match, I heard KO yelled out about four times. So he's talking about rollback netcode here, of course. Uh, anyone else pl planning on getting some third strike player match lobbies going this week since ranked is currently so effed up? Oh, and Marvel's Capcom 3 is retardedly easy to play at high levels. Since all you need to do is learn your character's team's 100% combo, then find a way to land the first hit. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Um, so he says that you can hear rollback something. You can hear rollback. Um, you can hear rollback sounds before a rollback. I, I, well, no one else talked about that that I found, but I couldn't find it. Okay, uh, Phil might play with this uh, XBL group later, so maybe something that might be friends at this point. Uh, we move on positively here to 381. Um, you literally posted right after Justin said what time. Um, oh, yeah, so King of Hate HD. The, so Justin said what time the thing was going to be, and Phil said, I might be down. What time? Let's see if that's funny or not. Is that funny? I'm scrolling like a bitch. Oh, yeah. I'll be home around 9.45 and 10-ish. Okay? <laughs> Ready? I'll be home around 9.45, 10-ish. I'll send invites as soon as I get home after work. I might be down. What time? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> uh, so he, did, he, he saw the first post, but then clearly didn't see this post. And then just said, what time? Did you tell me? You didn't state the time. So it looks like he doesn't actually read it. <laughs> he doesn't actually read the posts, but he likes to write posts. He just doesn't read posts. Funny. <laughs> so he got called out, by the way, by United Virus. Says, you literally posted right after Justin said what time, dumb fuck. <laughs> That's true. It might be blocked. You're right. He might be blocked. Okay. We're rolling down positively here again. Three, one, four, fucking eight. Here we go. Okay, gah! I'm now officially, officially addicted. The Third Strike Online Edition. Been craving real Street Fighter gameplay for so long. Got over 200 match vids uploaded to my DSP Street Fighter channel. LOL. More shilling for his own fucking vid site. I'm learning Oro, Hugo, and a little bit of Dudley Necro, but Oro's getting scary good with Tengu Stone Juggles. Can't wait to see how I do offline, or I won't be dropping combos and missing simple parries. Oh yeah, that's not your fault at all, of course. Refreshing to actually finally learn other characters besides Ken. So I heard the game, etc. Shindig may be bigger this Sunday to some ST heads practicing for SBO. As long as they're third strike, I'll be there. All right, so we'll be there. All right, no one responded, by the way. <laughs> just, just like it never existed. Um, that happens a lot on this one. Like oddly, like I, I we're so late where. We're so late in the timeline, I guess, that everyone knows what Phil is, and the and the big dogs actually have not are not using SRK as much right now, uh, is what I th is the reason. And this is again as a Connecticut thread, so they might be using the they might be using this site, but not in this thread because it's legitimately a Connecticut thread. You know, I don't I, I can't I don't know that, but anyways, let's move on positively. <clears throat> Uh, so King of Hate HD comes in hot here and has to say, let everyone know, of course, uh, really doubt I can make it Sunday. Six new retail video game releases this week. 
And I'm still only on the second one. I'll be there for the 18th, though. You gotta get those videos out. He's already addicted to... New game means I have to beat the game as fast as possible. And there's no doubt about it. I'm doing it. All right? I'm doing it. I have to play it. I, my game coverage. Right? My game coverage, guys. All right. Three, four, eight, zero. Okay. It. Four, eight, zero. Go. Okay. So not, not, not a button push, but I could have. If I were interested in any of the new games, I'd be absolutely ecstatic. There were so many people willing to play and having casual gatherings all over CT. Back when I was young, this guy is 29 years old. Back when I was young, the only places you could play, go to play were arcades, like FYE. Shout outs to FYE. Shout outs. Shout outs to the 14 year olds made for the creeping over that FYE. <laughs> you had to rely on cabinets working and what games they had. It was nearly impossible. To practice for everything in one place time, since most arcades didn't have everything. And about half the time, the controls were broken. No Mad Cats or Hori Sticks back then. This is literally Tom, uh, uh, what's his name? Al Bundy. Back in my day, the no Hori Sticks. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Even on Dreamcast, the best we had were Green Goblin Sticks that frequently broke, so playing on consoles wasn't even viable until after 2002. People need to shut the fuck up about hating the games, arguing about characters and tears, and either decide to play or not to play. <laughs> you were the one bitching earlier. Now we're no, no now don't bitch. If you don't want to play <laughs> to, or say or say anything productive. Oh, mama. <laughs> if you don't want to play or say anything productive, do what I'm doing. Get the fuck out of SRK and do something else productive with your life. Spoiler alert, he would not get out of SRK. <laughs> do what I'm doing, not posting here. What? You're posting here. Do what I'm doing, not posting. As I'm posting. <laughs> Imagine you're talking to somebody and you're saying like, man, I wish I could quit smoking. And you're talking to someone that's also smoking. They're like, hey, you want to quit smoking? Do what I'm doing. Stop smoking. <sighs> so they take another drag. That's what he's doing. <laughs> do what I'm doing. Get the fuck out of SRK and do something else productive with your life, you dumb fuck. I have two more paragraphs to write. What? There are only 10 billion other things to do on planet Earth besides Street Fighter. Pick one and shut up. I'm not a gaming center today. But I'm also not in this thread complaining about how much I hate the current games. You bitched about the games earlier this fucking night. Come on. What is this? <laughs> it's just like humorous level. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm, also, I'm not also in this thread complaining about how much I hate the current games. Okay. Okay. But how nobody shows up to gatherings. Why it's such a bad childhood. And my mother and other loved me. No, no, no. That was earlier in, four, in your post, okay? We already have those. We've seen those already, the motherhood ones. But I wonder, though, is there anything here, right? So I think he is, though. Chat, you can tell me if he's serious or not. But is he saying, I'm not going to complain about those things, but I did have those things? Right? So I, I, I'm not complaining about my bad childhood or how my mother never loved me. But, like, I think he kind of is saying that this, these are two bad things I'm not complaining about, but I could be because they happened to me. What do you think? <laughs> right? You, you know? You know what I'm saying, right? It's not like it, it, it definitely could just be like some examples, but it's like, mm, it might not be either because we've heard about shit like this. He thinks his childhood sucked. He says his mother, uh, you know, was an alcoholic and they cheated on his husband. Well, one of them cheated. We don't know what, but you know. But that's like, it's something there, you know? And no, no one complained about, you know, everyone just, uh, look, I'm going to scroll up here. You take a look at what normal posts go, right? This is how normal posts go. All right, guys? 
just so we don't lose sight of what how uh, out of place DSP posts are. They come like a like you know they come like a ton of bricks because they're out of nowhere. These paragraphs. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I, you won't see me complaining about how much I hate the current games. You already did that earlier. How nobody shows up to gatherings. You'll do that later. I'll show you. And why I had such bad childhood and my mother never loved me, etc. Now, now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go get back to playing every video game under the sun. See you all at the tournament on the 18th. Oh, go back to your important work, right? Go back to your important work and not caring. How are we supposed to do like you do? And don't write on SRK. As you write on SRK. Anyways. <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to see the response here. Uh, someone says, I agree not to his post, uh, but he's agreeing with the part about people helping people. Uh, it was like, blah, blah, blah. Milford rec or pips and Madison. Both venues are terrible. He's talking about where he learned to play. All right. I can't consider that a complete, uh, complete agreement. Uh, no one gives a shit about what he said. Someone changed the subject right away. Uh, someone put a funny picture here, I'm guessing, and everyone didn't care. No one cares. He's lost the pool. <laughs> he has lost the pool, absolutely, on, on, that he used to have on this site. Uh, at least in this thread. People don't give a shit when he talks, and I, he's still talking, though. Um, uh, someone has a comment here on girlfriends. <laughs> okay, so yeah, hang on to your hats on this one. Uh, someone says, I really like the no pay for girlfriend rule. Okay. It looks like since I'm going to make this and since my girlfriend doesn't pay venue, she might tag along. Okay, so someone made a rule at this one tournament that the girlfriends don't have to pay. Okay, uh, so King of Hate HD, of course, sees that magical world girlfriend and he has to make a comment. I have an opinion to share. I know it's very important for you guys to know my opinion, right? Uh, so here we go. Women get in for free, but there's also an unspoken rule that assholes have to pay triple. So I'll be dropping 15 on Sunday. Walter, you're a dick, man. <laughs> I'll play the fake one. It's not going to be me every time. We need the fake one for this. <laughs> Thank you, Titus. I'm getting on the soundboard next time. Great joke. The, 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 uh, it's five hours to get in, by the way. So Phil is... Phil made up this... There's also an unspoken rule that assholes have to pay triple, so I'll be dropping 15. He brings up the fact that I'm an asshole? Like, this is so, so stupid. So stupid. So stupid. But let's keep moving on positively. That being said, big ups to them. Any woman who willingly stands around for eight hours watching guys play fighting games shouldn't have to pay. They should get paid. Although it doesn't smell at gaming, etc., like at most other tournaments because the venue is so nice, so they're not suffering as much. <laughs> right? Right, guys? <laughs> Anyways. No one responds to DSP again. <laughs> We're going to go forward in time a little bit again. That kind of... Okay. Hang on a second. I'll, I'll prepare it real quick. I'll prepare it. Hang on a second, guys. Okay. We got a lot of these tonight. <laughs> My thoughts on the next tournament at gaming, etc. It can't be held on the 8th, 9th, same weekend as Seasons Beatings, or the 15th and 16th. Same weekend as NYCC, which lots of people from here attend. No, 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 no. Just you want to attend. Just you want to attend. So either of the last two weekends of the month will work. But my opinion is that you should run, blah, blah, blah. This way you're not asking people who are interested in multiple games to give up their entire weekend. And Howard, for that matter, who I'm not sure can have an entire weekend off to stream. Worrying about Howard. Howard! Howard, hello! I thought we weren't friends. But anyways... You can't pair Street Fighter games with non-Street Fighter games. So, for example, if you're doing that on Saturday, then Third Strike and ST should be also be on Saturday if you're running them. Players aren't going to be willing to sacrifice their entire weekend for a non-major. You mean you aren't, right? Keep that in mind, everybody. That just means you aren't. 
And force them to choose between Saturday and Sunday for Thursday. It's only going to hurt overall tournament. I myself will be torn between what day to attend. I'd love to watch, do commentary on Saturday, but would want to play Third Strike ST and commentate for those games on Sunday as well. But I can't give up two whole days from working either. Working. Working. Right, right, right. Cool. Very cool. Very normal. All right. As for MK and Gears of War 3, I hope you realize. That Gears has a huge following, and if we can actually find a way to appeal to that hardcore crowd, you won't have room to run anything else. <laughs> Ooh, because it's... <laughs> considering it'll be run on LAN and need multiple monitors for just one team, I believe traditionally it's run four on four. So if we can make this thing happen, we'll have tough time fitting everybody if this thing happens. Okay, thanks for that, sir. But I do agree that King of Fighters 13 would be a good fit as another tourney to run with MK. The only problem is it doesn't get released until October 25th. And therefore, you'd have to run the tournament the last weekend of October. Blah, blah, blah. On a side note, uh, this wasn't all a side note. As another side note, unfortunately for me, we, neither weekend above really works because both these weeks, there are four or more major releases I need to play, one of which is being King of Fighters 13. Not even sure I'd get a chance to touch the game before I went to the actual tournament. That being said, again, I doubt I could give an entire weekend to play fighting games either of those weeks. So that is a part of the reason I recommend splitting up the event is do set. Yes, Pentanit's in. <laughs> His side notes are longer than everyone else's posts. Not a lie. Not a fucking lie. Oh my God. Okay. We're working our way through this one. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's still a lot. <laughs> Definitely getting through two threads only today. We'll get to the damsel in distress, though. The damsel in distress is hype thread. We'll get there. This is more of a mundane kind of like, we're still getting looks into the psyche here, but it's not like out of the park thread. But the second one is, is a little bit more spicy. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We're having fun. Chilling out. Hanging out. Having fun. Eating naps. Anyways, uh, my fault. I got it confused with Dave's state. Okay, he's explaining about the fucking... He was talking about the dates, right? And someone said, are you actually going to Seasons Beating DSP? Why the fuck do you care about the dates, right? Why are you so worried about these goddamn dates? About things you might not even go to? <laughs> uh, which is a good question. Uh, and look at this don't jump here character, the side character. Like, he's never getting a card because they're not cool. And never getting a, a emo because they're not cool. My friend who graduated from Yale was a top player in Quake and is insanely good at the Halo games. Who cares? My friend graduated from Yale. Okay. Oh, good for you. <laughs> you're, the, you're the king of education now, aren't you? You're the king of education. <laughs> God. Gives a shit. <laughs> oh, good. Good for you. <laughs> uh, anyways, where's the... There's one more post here. Blah, 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 blah. I thought there was. 76. No, that's it for this one. Okay, so let's get to... 3864. 3865. 3870 is our next stop on the train. Oh, where is it? Don't jump again. Did I miss it? Oh, I'm actually going to see this beating. Okay, sorry. There you go. Uh, 2007, blah, 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 blah. We're going to go down to 3965. Three, there we go. Season's beatings. Again, people ignoring DSP a lot. Um, so, Phil United Versions calls back to that long ago thread we saw earlier. I hope you realize that Gears has a huge following, blah, blah, This person says, Phil's absolutely right about the Gears thing. The following for it is hardcore. I'm part of the Gears community. Yes, it's hardcore. People show up for that. You won't have a lot of room for other games to be played. I just wanted to point that out. Someone was in agreement with Phil. Uh, that's because they're also in that community, so they're kind of trying to push it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think it is. But just want to point out that Phil did get someone agreed with him there. The rare thing, usually, if Don't Jump is involved, when Don't Jump is in the fucking house, though, he agrees with everything. This gets on his knees right away. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, what's up, Scrubs? October 9th work for everyone. I thought we talked through this, and October 22nd is the best day for the next fighting game tournament. I thought we talked about this, dumb fuck. October 9th is way too soon. Only two tournaments isn't enough. And I can't even go on the 9th because there are five plus new game releases this week, and I'm booked. I'm booked. Guys, I'm booked, okay? I can't play fighting games. I have to play games. Okay? I'm booked. All of, all of three Will's points are completely valid. I suggest a date gets set pronto. We get a thread up. Time is ticking. Okay? Time is ticking. And I'm booked. We get the fuck out of here, okay? Fuck out of here. Uh, and someone said, Mayor, Mayor Justice, I thought this was listed as just a funsy tournament, not a big one. Why is it a big news? Yeah, can we just do the tournament whatever the fuck we want? Instead of you worrying about the date so much because you can't go because there are all these fucking games to play? Oh, sorry, all this work to do? Right? <laughs> Here we go. Our next appearance of Philly. For those asking about... Uh, Ultra Marvel's Capcom 3 events. I, I hope that's Ultra, by the way. I've been saying it the whole night. If that's wrong, please tell me. I'm pretty sure that the Play and Trade in Danbury, Connecticut will be at, doing a midnight launch and tournament like they did with blah, blah, blah. And unlike those, I'm more than likely... Oh, yeah, I like these. And unlike those, I'm more than likely not winning this one since I'm not even playing Marvel nor following any of the changes they're doing. So, guys, I'm probably not going to win this one. So, come on down. Also, and no, Nerd Josh is probably not even in the top 10 best Marvel's Capcom 1 players in Connecticut. Remember that only, other, that only three states were ever any good at Marvel's Capcom 1. Connecticut, New York, and Cali. With a few exceptions from New, of New Jersey and Philly here and there. But a Connecticut was extremely competitive in Marvel 1, and Josh wasn't even playing games competitively back then. I love this state mentality, you know? <laughs> like states. <laughs> but I'm not going to win this one, guys. I'm not going to win this. Uh, Aiko is back, says, yo, I'm trying to get Nerd Josh to come to CT and prove that he's the best. You got the arcade machine, so I'm fucking ready. All right, I'm ready, boys. I'm ready. Um, this one, I marked facepalm. So it should be good. Oh, okay. I wrote facepalm because Phil said facepalm. Uh, someone said, when would the midnight launch event be? And Phil said, if I knew how to do the facepalm smiley, I'd use it. Sadly, he's right on this one. Uh, I'll be at the plane trade launch event as long as I can get a ride. And it's not the same day as another major launch. Uh, when the hell does it come out anyway? Maybe they can sell me the other releases for the week while I'm there since technically the, it'll be midnight. Oh, yeah. He has to buy all those very important games. He has to invite all those very important games, everybody. Good question, EG. I don't know. How do they decide what is top and what is all? Anyways, let's move on positively. Uh, 4173. We're... <clears throat> Not yet. We, we get a Skullgirls take, so hang on to your hats there. Skullgirls tank is next. First, we get a wow. Uh, so, like, the more things change, the more they stay the same. All right? Listen to this. Okay, so Ultra Volumes Capcom 3 comes out November 15th. Really? The same day as Assassin's Creed Revelations, Need for Speed, The Shift, St. Rose the Third, Halo Anniversary, Jurassic Park? How could you do that to me? Don't they know about my YouTube schedule? Capcom needs to get their head out of their ass and realize that fighting games are actually competing with other games. Yes, hardcore fighting game players will be rushing to play it, but those are some AAA titles that for most common gamers will be taking precedence over $40 balance rebalance, $40 rebalance release with a few new characters. It could have waited two more weeks and went up against nothing. Now I doubt I can go to the play and trade midnight event and honestly don't even know if I'll get to play the game during that week. Fuck, this is stupid. Come on, man. Who cares? He's been bitching about this for 20, literal, literally, how many more years since then? So 11 years to this day. Very close to the actual date. We're the same month, you know, 12 years ago. We're still saying that. Still saying it. Bubbles are coming after the thread, Toxic Cherry Juice. They'll be the, in the, the, the middle of this. The middle of this thread. We're almost to the end of this, I promise. Only three more posts there. Next up, we get to our Skullgirls take. Hang under your hat, Skullgirls. 
I think the problem with Skullgirls isn't the game or the gameplay. It's the art style. Uh-oh. The cutesy-looking all-female anime-ish cast is only going to appeal to a small niche audience. Why can't we have a well-designed fighter with some meat on those bones? Instead of Arcana, Arca, Arcana Hearts, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Skullgirls, nonsense. I guess I missed this fad because last time I checked, fighting game fans weren't all hardcore otaku nuts. <laughs> Why can't we have a well-designed fighter with some meat on those bones? Daddy's gotta eat. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he literally talking like thick? That's what I don't get. <laughs> yeah, meat. That's what he's talking about, Black Doom. I want some meat. I want some man meat. That's why he likes Street Fighter VI. More than this Skullgirls nonsense. There's more guys. Give me the guys. Luke, the hottie. Of course we got Zangief. He's a hottie, right? Hot piece of man meat. Bro, baby, oh. <laughs> By no means does this mean I won't be checking out the game. I'm just disappointed at this stupid trend. Then we get Street Fighter 4. Well, I thought you just remember when he played Marvel's Capcom? I showed it to us. I showed it to you here. Oh, Tigo Bitty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. Boob job. Very masculine. Anyways. <laughs> anyway I'm, no one responds to phil again no one gives a shit it's like he doesn't post it is like he doesn't post it is ignored just ignored <laughs> does not give a fuck these people have moved on man it's it's wild it's a wild difference from the older ones we get into like this just don't no one says anything it's like yeah okay yep yep <laughs> I know we've we shown some responses, of course. But you know, back in his old ones we've shown, like everyone's responding to his shit. Like they all take the bait, you know? But here, no one's taking it. It's done. Anyway, someone got banned here. Um, <laughs> so someone got banned, a DJ or whatever, um, from this forums. And King of Hate has to chime in. Who cares if he's banned? Just don't talk about it, okay? It was refreshing to not see people talking about him. Then apparently realized he may be banned and we're talking about him again. I'll be at NYCC all day Saturday to try out film the new game. Should be good with both Ultra Marvel's Capcom 3 and, and Street Fighter XT there. Hoping the Ultra Marvel's Capcom build is a real game so I can try out all the new characters. Oh yeah, Phil would definitely be that person at a fucking convention to sit there hours playing the new character. You know, longest shit line. I gotta play on the character. Shut up. No, he wouldn't say that. He can't have he can't have a actual confrontation. But he would just sit there until he was told to move, you know? Like that's absolutely what he would do. Who cares if he's banned? This is coming from a person that has been banned from this website four times. Four. <laughs> and he just keeps coming back. <laughs> Last post of this fucking thread. We're almost out of here. We're almost out of this thread. We got more fun this tonight plan, but we do have a uh, one last post of this one. Are you ready? Hold on to it, boys. Get your receipts out. This is the time we measure. Here we go. <laughs> Let me scroll up a little bit. A little bit to show you how people write on this fucking website. You get a paragraph at most. You get a sentence at most. What do we get here? We get, we get the fucking Bible. <laughs> oh, anyway, this is the last post and people just said, fuck it. I'm out. Oh, God, there's more, too. I, I, this is not his last post, by the way. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Fuck, I wanted to be done with this post. All right, we'll do a little bit more. Uh, I have to say I'm disappointed big time with Capcom's fighting game presence at NYCC 2011. They had a shit ton of setups. But the people they had running the events had no idea what they were doing. Lines to play constantly got disorganized and messed up. 
Some people got swag, while others didn't, with no explanation as to why. <laughs> Seth Killian wasn't there to marshal the whole thing last year. It massively suffered for it. Oh, God. Could you imagine if our baby boy here did not get his swag and others did? Hey, excuse me. Uh, Jose, whatever your name is. Yeah, yeah. Can you speak English? Okay, okay. Uh, listen, I didn't get my swag. So, and, and he, she did. So, I'm just going to stand here until we get the swag. No, no, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I can't even play all the characters. I need my swag, okay? Here's my friend Rambo. You feel that too, right, Rambo? Uh, I don't love Phil. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, yeah. He, he, he agrees, okay? I'm going to get my swag. Come on, man. Come on. You know he's like that. You know it. The worst part? Oh, you can fucking guess what the work part is. The worst part is every setup had massive input lag. Massive. <laughs> Man, every, everything Phil has ever played, fighting games have massive input lag. Man, if that was true, like, why would you play that style of game anymore? Just give up. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anybody who's ever played those games before could tell. The station I played on was a mini stage, and it had at least a half a second of lag, to the point where people couldn't even com complete magic series combos. Anyways, I'm not reading all this, but on a positive note, I think that Street Fighter XT, look, a Tekken, looks pretty interesting, but still pretty noobish. The art style is a la Street Fighter 4, but the graphics seem to be slightly improved. The animations were fluid. The stage backgrounds were entertaining as hell. Entertaining as hell. The Tekken characters play nothing like Tekken. But it looks like we'll have a bunch of new Street Fighter gameplay players learn, which is a fun, fun thing. Blah, blah, blah. As for the swag that I didn't get as much as everyone else, insanely overrated. I was there from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m., the entire length of the convention, and I barely got to see everything on the show floor. If you wait in long lines to play only a handful of games, to get a free t-shirt or something silly like an Azura's Wrath hairpiece, you missed a significant amount of content. <laughs> You missed content. <laughs> At a convention, you missed content. <laughs> this convention had too much padding. <laughs> this, this, this fucking convention had too much padding. There was too much content. I couldn't get to all the content. I did the main quest, you know, but I couldn't get to the side quest content. And there's, oh, there's, there's DLC content. You could pay to meet people. I didn't get to see the DLC. I didn't pay the DLC. I was getting the free handouts, the free skins, you know, like the swag. <laughs> Just too much fluff. <laughs> you missed the significant. I've never heard someone say content for a convention in my fucking life. Call me crazy. Maybe you have. I haven't. I've never heard things at a convention called content. Uh, you missed a significant amount of content and pretty much missed the point of the whole thing. What's the point of the whole thing? <laughs> To have fun and check out stuff? That seems like the point to me. Not every, you don't have to see every fucking thing. I feel bad for people who come up home with a big bag of crap and feel like they somehow made, made out like a bandit. Oh, yeah, that's the people we should feel bad for. The people that actually enjoyed themselves and got free stuff and were happy for getting free stuff and feel good. Yeah, we should feel bad for them. Because that's the world we want, right? That's the world we want. He, to make this very clear, he wants people that got free stuff that is probably crap, but they're happy with the crap. We want to feel bad for them because they got somehow tricked into enjoying life and not bitching about every fucking thing possible. Oh, yeah. They're the people you should feel bad for, not Sir Burnell and his bitchiness of the fucking swag and the content of a convention. Anyways, as you'd have it, I got some footage from NYCC. Would you like to get Phil's take on this? Let's, let's, I think we need this. We need a little change of pace here. Let's get some video content from DSP Gaming. We're on our way to the NYCC. Let's check it out. Oh, God. In the car, we have Philip, Rambo, and OJ, the person that played Mario in Project 7. 
Let's check it out. What the fuck? First thing I was heard in the video. Who hit a pedestrian? Yeah, we hit a pedestrian <laughs> off camera. No, we didn't. All right, so we are in New York City. We are on the way to the Javits Center. Oh shit, an umbrella. Yeah, look at that, an umbrella symbol right there. Oh yeah, they're gonna be, there's gonna be a big Arkham City uh, video the going on. Uh, right there on the right. Oh shit. There's gonna be a big um, a big uh, Batman um, video probably when we get to the what's center. This guy? Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's still time. excited by the umbrella symbol. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do this. Just evil what? Uh, Oh, it's for the game operation. I've not seen this at all. I just put it in here, so it might be very boring. Yeah. Yeah. Which will be out in like three years. Uh, <laughs> I think it's March. I think I'm supposed to stop God, here. the camera. Stop, stop here, right? Can we straighten it out a little bit? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm supposed to stop here, aren't I? Guys, come on. No, look what they're doing. Oh, fuck the Wii now. Come on, dude. <laughs> you don't... It, it, there's... It, you don't... Stay yeah, so OJ is driving Rambo in the passenger seat, Phil in the back. In the middle of the intersection out of red do. light. That's do. terrible. That's exactly what you do. Oh, look, I let the... What oh, is this God. camera? Drive like silly people are Can we like see that. something? Yeah, we'll be on Tuesday. Did you know that? <laughs> That's the nose cam right there. Sorry, Rambo. We got the schnoz cam. We do have schnoz cam. Can we get, like, look out the window cam? In front of us. Bad man. We'll be out on Tuesday. Did you know that? The Stas cam. Should I make that a redeem? <laughs> Schnaz redeem for 10,000 cat coin. That'll come in the side of the screen. <laughs> I, I can't do John Rambo that dirty. Batman Arkham City. Everyone that shows up to come will get it for free today. Wow. Excellent. I think it's true. Uh, I'm just going to go in there assuming that. Got my hopes up. It's not true. I'm going to go into a, a rage. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> a ranting <laughs> rage. Oh, this is the perfect time to be doing road maintenance. In front of a giant convention. Right in front of, you know, the busiest day of the year I for the Javits guy, Center. Look at this, guys. We're going to hammer it away. What is this camera? Look at this! <laughs> Look at this camera! <laughs> Look at this camera shot! Yeah. Uh, this like is incredible! And he's just, just kept the piston. That's a teamster doing some work. <laughs> nice team whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it's boring. Next video. I mean, you want to watch this? Yeah. Whoa. I have two vi two other ones from this convention, so I'm, I'm pulling the plug on this one. It's just like, we could watch it, but then we'll be here all fucking night. Let's take a look at the inside real quick. Yeah. So we're actually in the express line, and we have to walk through all these people. Yeah, so Phil, by the way, came to this as a free man. He is not a panelist. He is a free man. He paid for his way here, I believe. I don't think this is the one he got paid for by Machinima. I don't think, but... I could be wrong on that fact, but I don't think so. Uh, he had no... He had no... He, he actually... Remember, he, he emailed about... In a different thread, I think... Did we talk about that today? I can't remember. But there's time he uh, did email. Yeah, that was E3. Thanks, Pertinson. So he did try to get a panel here or something, but they didn't respond to him. So. Yeah, we waited in a line outside just to go into this room with all these fucking people in it. It's 10 a.m. We're on time. This is like what Slaughterhouse would look like, right? Just lines of uh, yeah. cattle being pushed. Well, that's probably what they're going to do. They're going to pull about a couple hundred of us out of the line and sell us as sex slaves over yeah. in uh, it's pretty big. Taiwan. I so want to check out. Dude, this is gonna be like an hour wait just to get in. Yeah, gonna be at that point. Yeah, dude, this we're fucked. <laughs> we're not even gonna get in there till noon. Woohoo! We're here on time. We're not gonna get in till noon. Yeah, you got there on time. You gotta be there an hour early if you really want to be there when the fucking door opens. Now we see why he missed all that content. He showed up like when it was open and said like, "Why can't we just walk through?" What? That's how efficient this fucking stupid thing is. Ticket, the doors are 10 a.m. Better get there at 10 a.m. <laughs> Who thinks that? Yeah, care about, like, they, no, they sold out a couple days ago. So they do have a limited amount. Oh, of course. Uh. You have to wait in this line. 
staircase coming up ahead, as you'll see when we get to it. That's where we need to get. Well, he fixated that camera on these ladies, though, didn't he? Damn. He's not moving that camera anymore. To finally enter. There's 50 times I came a couple years ago, nothing like this, man. It's this big, I, seriously, I think this is the biggest San Diego Comic Con at this point. It's ridiculous. A lot of costumes, we got an objection sign here. I just want people like this stuff now. It's supposed to be underground, it's supposed to be for, you know. <laughs> God. I am done, bored. All right, now we get to we, last video. I don't care. There's a, there's a whole playlist of that. Like, pat, more power to you. Get it. Big ups, doing Messiah. Have a good night, buddy. And uh, here we go. We're gonna see uh, Phil play the game we just heard him talk about, right? And in the title is uh, Ultra Marvelous Capcom Three: Insane Input Lag, Waste of Time. So let's see what led to him thinking is a waste of time. Only two minutes. Oh, look! That's some shine. What's how? What's the drip going today? Let's check out the drip. Ooh, that's a shiny drip today. We go with the shiny, the shiny rollback. That's some rollback right there. That is rollback. The hair is rollback. Rollback shine. <laughs> Got that rollback going. Look at that walk up. He like wanted some sound effect. You know, he's like, oh, okay, I'll go up. I mean, here we go. <laughs> okay, I'll go up. Hey, everybody. Yeah, hello, hello. It's me. It's me. Don't want to cause too much of a scene. All right. Let's try to let's try to move, move together normally. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. It is DSP. <laughs> Oh God! If you if you heard this this talk, if you're this gentleman right there that got this talk up from DSP, please come on the show, please, please. I want to hear what Phil's saying to you right here. <laughs> here we go. Phil's going with Magneto and Phoenix Wright. So, by the way, we know he's going to lose here because the title says in insane input lag waste of time. So he has to lose. Get ready. All right, let's go. So we got a big audience here, boys. I was blocking that. <laughs> Came out. Okay. That's not what I push. Uh oh. No, he's. I, I don't hear him saying anything, by the way. I'm listening very carefully, but I don't hear him saying anything. I don't, he's not mic'd up, so. Philip! Philip! Wake up! <laughs> oh, God! Uh oh, Phil's making his comeback. <laughs> Get 
okay. I mean, it doesn't. I can't tell what's going on that much, but it doesn't seem like it's going well. <laughs> All right, Magneto in the house. Took care of the Hulk. God, there's so much going on with this. It's crazy. <laughs> that was a quick handshake. <laughs> that was a quick handshake. Salty walk back. <laughs> Let's see the face of salt. The KO. That's for KO gaming. Let's see. Oh, oh God. The quality's so shit. <laughs> I, I can have it all. My empire of salt, and you can have it all. Oh! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this stare right here! <laughs> oh god, that's so much pain! Oh god, we got this is, oh my god, I want this injected right now. You can have it all, my empire of salt. You can have this win. All I have is lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how fucking salty is that? And look at his look at his title: insane input lag, waste of time. Yeah, I'll tell you it was a waste of time. It didn't look like a waste of time to me. <laughs> uh, God. Wrecked. Oh, man. Okay. We have to finish this thread. God damn, what time is it? 10.14. We have to finish by 11. Oh, the description. I read the description. Excuse me. The description is a fucking book, too. But here we go. In this video, I try to play... Ultimate vs. Capcom 3 for the very first time at New York Capcom. Oh, of course he had to say, very first, very first time. After waiting in line for over 20 minutes, so 20 minutes, which is a very reasonable amount of time to wait for this, I discover I the set... Today, I hit none of the goals, I'm fucked. <laughs> and essentially, I'll, I'll be going grocery shopping, I guess we're gonna... Big ups, can do, Adrian. Eat a, eat, a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. Yeah. Lunch meat sandwich time. Indrid! First pull for Indrid! Hi! Four bronze star. Hype. That's a hype card. Put in today. Anyways, after waiting in line for over 20 minutes, I discovered the setup has about a full second of input lag, making the match impossible for anyone good to actually play. For anyone good to actually play. Did that player look like a noob? You guys know, but what a waste of time. I even tried to showcase Phoenix Wright for massive failure. Oh, yeah. I tried to showcase Phoenix Wright. Right, right, right. That's what you were trying to do there. You didn't really care about winning, did you? Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point. So much salt. You have to write it in the title, in the description, in a, in a forum post, in a different website. This is cope overwhelming. How much cope? Oh, God. How much cope? That's, that's toxic levels of cope. And look at Ryan. Look at Ryan, this, this legend. So much salt. <laughs> yes. We speak your name, Ryan. We speak your name. Little did you know, 12 years later, we'd all be saying the same thing with you. You are a legend wherever you are. <laughs> God. Oh, man. That was magical. That walk off. I, could, I was not ready for that walk off. <laughs> so fucking salty. <laughs> All right. We're almost done this one. Oh, God. Don't make me do it again. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> double same one. Double same. Double double same. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. Apologize for the double. Uh, uh, okay. There we go. Next stop from, from DSP. Different subject altogether. Schroeder's cat in the house. <laughs> I'd again like to plug the upcoming new Challengers tournament this coming Sunday. Right now, only five confirmed attendees. Remember earlier, I told you to remember that he said, don't bitch about how many people are coming to, to tournaments. What are we doing right here? Come on, guys. We can do better. <laughs> I'm not asking for anything overwhelming. I, we can do better than this. I'm not even playing anything again because Walter isn't running third strike. And even I'm, I could, even I could, <laughs> I'm not even playing anything because Walter's running third strike. And even I confirmed attendance. Even I get on that. Looking forward to doing commentary again. I'll make a special vid to promote the event this weekend. Oh God. Let's see that vid. That vid is going to be hype, right? Let me see if I can find that vid. Let's see if we can find that vid. Uh, no, can't find that vid. It's fine. It's better anyway. We got to move on. We got to move on. <laughs> so no one's coming. All right. So salty. So let's move on here to a little bit farther down. Uh, some, some people announced that, damn, not too many people seem to be into this tourney. <clears throat> uh, just some people saying like, hey, not so many people coming, whatever. Um, then we have Phil's response. So people, some people are saying like, not so many people are into it. I might come, blah, 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 whatever. Back and forth. Cat, uh, DSP has to chime in here. Lots of reasons why people not, might not be interested in this Sunday's tournament. Remember that tournament he told us he wants people to get to? He's going to tell us now why people not, might not be into it. it, it, it this is, it, who is he talking to here? <laughs> It sounds to me like he's talking to himself, but okay. This is self-cope, self-soothing. Here we go. Um, both, uh, both whatever, are getting new versions by the end of the year, so these are outdated. People spending lots of money to go to NYCC the week before. Other tournaments at the same time. <laughs> it's the busiest time of year for games. Uh, with Backman Arbor City just being released this week, which is one of the best games of 2011. Uh, there were there was just a mini tournament two weeks for locals that actually detracts from this event since those people may think that they just went to a tournament and therefore we'll pass on this one. <laughs> All that being said, shout outs. Fuck the excuses. I'll still be there despite how busy my schedule is right now and how all of you should make it out too. Oh, sorry. I'll make it out despite how busy my schedule is. I hope people are already laughing at him. Your schedule is playing video games whenever you want and uploading them to his web, to your YouTube. That's how busy your schedule is. Imagine people with real schedules reading this. <sighs> We've got a good thing going and there's no reason to skip one because circumstances aren't ideal, especially now that there will be a dedicated area for casuals. You really have no excuse not to show. Unless you can't get out of work, or you're taking your grandma to see the Three Musketeers. Hang on a minute. I apologize. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I won't get the double. Anyways, <clears throat> you're taking your grandma to see the Three Musketeers. Even so, take her on Saturday, you bums. Right, 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 cool, very normal. Uh, so Ryan, who we are stone cold locked to have good comments, says, well, Sunday Showdown usually goes down, we have our tournaments. Isn't, it isn't as big as Guard Crush, though, so I'm not very worried. All right, whatever, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means that time. But anyways, let's move on here. Um, he, after Phil told us the reasons it's not popular, that's... Uh, after, after telling us reasons why you might not want to come, here's why you should come. All right. Um, uh, so this is the day, the day of, right? So let's get some more hype for going for Stratford today. Yeah. WBIG, Stratford, Connecticut. 
Thanks for that. We are getting some hype going on Saturday today. King of Hate HD, ugh, I woke up early. I hate it when I wake up early. Hopefully I can get a couple more hours sleep before the tournament. Ha ha. Who cares? Who cares? No one even talk. No one mentions it. Everyone just ignores as usual now. It's, that's very normal practice is just to pretend he's not talking. And he might be blocked by quite a few of these people. Who knows? No comment till 84. Paragraphs. Not, not button level, but I'm curious to know why everyone thinks about the whole gems fiasco. A game that looked like it was going to be a serious competitive game and a possible alternative for those who don't like the lax inputs of Street Fighter 4 or the one-hit-leads-to-death combos of Marvel's Capcom 3 is now going to have collectible gems that you get by reserving the game at some places, buying products like Mountain Dew, <laughs> and lot shout-outs to Mountain Dew, <laughs> unlocking them in the game, etc. At first, everyone's reaction was, well, just don't play with them then. That's stupid. Until Ono has now insisted the gems are critical to the gameplay of the game. All right, whatever. He's talking about gems. I didn't know about this issue until today. Yet again, uh, getting disappointed by Capcom. Mayor McJustin chimes in and says, that's what I think. Fuck it. So we have a little bit of agreement there. <clears throat> um, someone responds again to Phil. I was really excited for Street Fighter XT until they announced the gem system. I really think this would just destroy any hope of making the game balanced. Ah, here we go. Here we go. It, this, is what, this is the classic when Phil finds a topic that everyone agrees with he tries to be the one that gets the post going like he gets that vibe going right gets those upvotes on reddit going you know feeling i'm the first one to talk about this so like everyone has to agree with me like pretty it seems like gems are kind of a bad idea so like i don't think anyone's gonna say that stupid so it feels like oh yeah let me write that yeah, see guys the gems suck right guys yeah and you like can't disagree with that because it's like a, just objectively bad but we still want to be on the head of that, right? Like, hey, yeah, look at me. I'm the, I started this thread, guys. And I go, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Anyways, King versus King, we're back to King of HD says, I can't believe that, again, that, that whole thing left, came and went, no big deal. King of HD says, coming out of nowhere, like irrelevant to what's going on before him. I can't believe there are people that have actually played 2000 matches of laggy online Marvel's Capcom 3. But anyway, very interesting reading different thoughts and arguments regarding the gems in SFT. I'm glad I, I brought it up. Did people actually talk about it or not? No, no, no. No one's talking about gems. No one's talking about gems. Uh, someone's talking. Okay, some people are talking about gems. Okay, some people are talking about gems. Okay, some people are talking about gems. We'll give it to them. All right, I'm not going to lie. But uh, anyways, very interesting reading different thoughts and arguments. I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> Let me pat myself on the back right real quick. Hang on. <laughs> I think it's a very, aren't you, look, I'm really happy I brought this comment up that everyone seems very interested in. Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> anyways, I think it's a very valid point that there will be other fighting games out shortly. Uh, just to name a few. Although Street Fighter is the roots of most of our fighting game experience, if we all try, Tired of this Capcom bullshit, we can branch out. Regardless of what Evo SRK does, regardless of what the Cannon Brothers does, that's what you mean, motherfucker. Say the name. I personally excited to try King of Fighters 13 in a tournament setting that small that new challenges. Yeah. Yeah, dudes. Okay. Uh anyways, nothing there. 92. God, I was so wrong when I said we were done here. We are not done here. Battlefield 3 is better than I expected. Feel out of nowhere. My assessment so far, sir. Campaign plays pretty exactly like Call of Duty campaign on rails, but you die way faster. It's a nine. But once you get used to it, it's on par with anything Modern Warfare has done. Conquest mode is insanely fun. It's driving piles of vehicles and causing mass destruction. Or blowing them up with RPGs. This is what Battlefield is about. Rush mode is honestly balls. All about camping and basically being a douchebag to get high KD ratio. This is what people complain about in Marvel's Mar MW2, Modern Warfare 2, and it seems this mode kind of emulates that gameplay. <clears throat> Whatever. Boring. Moving on. Uh, 4620. Boring ish. 
uh, for here we go. <clears throat> Someone talking about this, blah blah blah. But yeah, about to about to start Uncharted. Oh God, about to start Uncharted Three. Another insane gaming week, and I probably won't even have get to play Battlefield Three for a while now. Oh no, insane gaming week. Watch out, guys, for those insane gaming weeks. Capcom Japan still has their head up their ass when it comes to selling to a U.S.-based audience. They apparently think that they have to cater to themselves first, even in the case of a game that never sold well in their home country to begin with. Fucking Japan. Assholes. Typical elitist cultural bias, I guess. Ooh, mama. Typical elitist cultural bias, I guess. Yeah, he's just Japan. Pull it together, all right? They'll understand when they see how low the sales numbers for Ultra Marvel's Capcom 3 will be compared to Vanilla. The common opinion in the mainstream gaming community, i.e. outside of SIK. They're going to spend their money on other things. Oh, right. Watch out. Again. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. It's like he didn't post at all. No one cares. <laughs> it's, I mean, sad, basically. Uh, let's go a little bit more. <laughs> 556. No one cares. No one gives a fuck. And here we go, motherfuckers. No one crazy today. I am going crazy here. All right, <laughs> King of Fate HD. After no one talked, no one gave a fuck what he said earlier. Let me try again. Let me say more. SRK has to cock ride people who repeatedly win tournaments. I, instead of saying SRK, I'll say the people he's actually talking to. The Cannon Brothers have to cock ride people who repeatedly win tournaments. It's trying to make it seem like they're rock stars. So, so that fighting games will see like they're the in thing to get into. Leading more people to come to SRK. Oh, excuse me. The Cannon Brothers website. Attend the Cannon Brothers uh, uh, convention. And make, it, make this website business more money. It's a pretty standard business model. <laughs> oh, yeah. That old standard business model. They teach you that in business school. He should have learned this. He's already has his business degree at this point. Come on. You should have known this. You know what this is, my friends? More cope. If you haven't had enough tonight, here's more to give you the overdose. Because SRK has not cock-ridden him, he is going to shit on them. Because they are cock-riding. And making the fighting game seem like rock stars. Oh, who would want to do that? And, and, and let's not pretend there aren't some people that are held at rock star status. We know the names. I could ask one of them a question right now. Real quick. What do you get in fourth place at Evo? Like, what do you get? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Right? We need to hear that right now. All right? We had to hear it. Do you really think that people would want to get into competitive Street Fighter if they knew that Daigo, one of the best in the world, is a male nurse who can't support himself on his winnings? Oh, look at that. Have to say that male nurse thing, doesn't he? <laughs> look at Daigo now. Where's Daigo now? I know he's still playing fucking games. I don't know what his career is like, but I'll tell you one thing. People give a fuck about what Daigo says and does. And Daigo's not begging anybody. <laughs> uh, Daigo can still, when, when Daigo plays a game, people want to see it. And not for, the re to, for reasons of laughing at him. They want to see it because they want to see Daigo playing the game that they love. And they know they can probably never get to the level Daigo is. Oh, I didn't even read the next sentence. Or Justin Wong, the best U.S. player ever, had to move to Cali, sell out to 100 shitty sponsorships, and start going on bad reality TV shows just to keep his lifestyle going. 
Oh my God, is that true? Daigo paid for Ski Sonics University. Oh my God. Oh God. What's what? That is an incredible human being, Daigo. And someone, like I said again, more importantly than what he's done like that, is respected. And that's the one thing Phil can never get, no matter what happens from here on out. He'll never get the respect, and he never even had it at this time, as I've shown you tonight. He never even had it at this time. It's like he doesn't say anything. Because what does it matter? When crazy people talk, the best thing to do is not listen. And these people have figured it out now. <laughs> Big up, Vikes. Can I have my coins back from your slush fund? No, the slush fund doesn't exist. They all get burned. You got a Jenna, though. That's worth more than coins. Single crystal Jenna. Let's move on. Uh, so Justin had to sell out to 100 shitty sponsorships. Oh, yeah, those sponsorships. Those sponsorships that still aren't begging, though, are they? Or that most of the known top players are really just people who spend the majority of their time traveling the country, not to sightsee, take in culture, or get any viable life skill, but just to sit in ballrooms waiting to be called for their next match? Oh, this is how we have to make ourselves feel better for becoming this YouTuber that sits on his ass and doesn't go anywhere at all. But yeah, let's see how you're better than them. And the choices you made are so much better than the choices they made. Let's hear it. I used to live that culture. Then I opened my eyes and wised up. I don't care about being the best. We get it at any cost. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't need to worry about being the best. You don't have to worry about that. Because these games are just a drop in the pool. Oh, yes. Oh, what a legend. Thanks so much, Sir Phil, for sharing this. Teaching us all of this. So, thank you so much. Yes, all these people you mentioned, they are complete assholes. You're right. Daigo. No one knows Daigo. Who's Daigo? I can't search his YouTube right now and find thousands of views and people saying positive shit about him. No. Justin Wong. He's long gone. Who's ever heard of Justin Wong these days in 2023? Am I right? SRK will continue, excuse me, the Cannon Brothers will continue to overhype players and the games as a whole until they don't see any more profit in it. Well, we'll let you know when that day comes because it hasn't come yet. But we'll let you know, all right? 2011 DSP. Let these people dick ride. Make documentaries on their lives. Really? Who cares enough to watch? Who cares enough to watch your car videos from whatever the fuck NYCC? You, <laughs> who cares enough to watch? Hello? Hello? You had videos of a car seat and John's nose. Who cares enough to watch that? Unless you're crazy like us. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy here. I continue to think there's some kind of celebrities. Justin Wong and Daigo may have a random interview or article in the gaming media every once in a while, but to the mainstream, non-SRK, nobody really gives a crap. Oh, thank you, Phil. You're such a world traveler. And, you know, worldwide, you know, you know everything about the world. You really have a pul the pulse of the gaming world. That's something DSP has a real good stranglehold on. Right? He definitely knows it. Thank you for this. I did not understand that no one cares about Justin Wong and Daigo. Thank you. Justin Wong could tweet a, uh, could, can tweet a fucking single words and get thousands of retweets and likes. And what can you get, DSP? People <laughs> retweet it because they're laughing at how crazy it is. Don't forget this. <laughs> People are making more money doing far less challenging things. And they actually have real lives too. Well, you're doing the first one. Not making more money. Maybe you were making more money than them then. I don't know. But the real life part is something they both got. Justin Wong has a family. I don't know about Daigo, of course, but I know Justin Wong has a family. 
Spends time with his family, actually. Spends time with his wife, actually. But you have the real life. Okay, I wasn't sure. Now you have the real life. Playing games, you're so busy playing games, you can't even play fighting game tournaments. But you have the real life. Sure, right, right. Very normal. Ryan says, I thought it was confirmed that Diagon wasn't a male nurse. Did you, <laughs> just per Did you learn that from his documentary that you clearly thought no one cares about? But then you learned this fact from it, sir? Uh-huh. Sir? Hello? Burnell? <laughs> Gisbert. A fucking legend. So many years later, you'd be known as a legend. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, anyways. We're oh, okay. It looks like that person was responding to Ryan. Okay, there we go. So it might have been a little different, but still. Your head cannon can be whatever it wants. Okay, next comment is response to uh, to that. No, uh, that was it, by the way. There's no one else responding. So I would show you responses if I had them. I don't have them outside of that one person saying, I don't think he's a male nurse. And that was it. <laughs> That's sad, man. All right, so we do have someone to bite. All right, we did get someone to bite. Many posts later, he says, Notice this post by complete accident, but I'm going to reply and be on my way then. So it seems like it's a group effort. When King of Hate says shit, just don't say anything, guys. It's better. <laughs> it's better. Just let him go. Don't worry about him. Anyways, people like Daigo, Mang Ma uh, Mago, and Tokido make a decent living at the moment. And they still do in 2023, by the way. They are sponsored players who participate in various exhibition events around the world. And how do you know what these players do besides play the game there? Great fucking question, dude. Maybe some of them visit various locations like museums. Does it really matter? No, no, no. Phil didn't do that. So he's saying they didn't do it either, brother. That's it. I see you record game walkthroughs by the dozen. So why do you exactly criticize these players? Or are you somehow experiencing high culture and learning valuable academic skills by recording Call of Duty videos for teenagers from your own sofa 24-7? Oh, God. That is the best. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Give it to him. Give it to him. Oh, man. That was... That was a fucking level three. Out of nowhere. Guest level three. Guessing everything. Pure pattern play. Pure. <laughs> God. Are you somehow experiencing high culture and learning valuable academic skills by recording Call of Duty videos for teenagers from your own sofa 24-7. Maybe you are just trying to be little people like Justin Wong because you never managed to reach the same heights as far as fighting games are considered. Throwing bitter stones from your glass trailer won't solve the issue. Oh, God. This dude. Who is this? Dr. Gulag. Oh, Dr. Gulag. Phil thinks he's the king of the Gulag. This is the doctor of the Gulag. He's got his fucking MD in the Gulag. He's not fuck around. He's just trying to be in the Gulag. He sends people to the Gulag. And, he, and they stay there. Look at this, Lex comment. Look at this. Just throwing it out there. Oh, oh, by the way, this is Daigo talking about the amazing shit he's done. I'm taking more holistic... Uh, look at this. Look at this fucking legend. I'm taking a more holistic approach to my professional life by taking care of my body. I've changed my diet. Blah, blah, blah. It physical training. Oh, those two words that Phil doesn't know the meaning of. I take my profession very seriously. I'm confident that I'm the only one who takes this seriously. I work the hardest. I'm proud of my profession. And I'm determined to make the best out of the opportunity given to me for myself and the community. And this confidence has given me another level of confidence in me. 
Nothing and no one can defeat me. Look at this. That's someone that takes their profession seriously. That's someone that doesn't need to tell everyone on every post that they're making money doing their job. I'm making money. Okay? Good thing I'm making the money. Just throwing it out there. That's the kind of positive attitude that will help you regardless of what you choose to do with your life. Be it Street Fighter, be it Street Fighter now, and perhaps something else a bit later. You might want to take note. Holy shit, man. Post of the night. Right there. Right there. Dr. Gulag. Man, that, that one hit. That one hit hard. Man. And uh, let's move on. Uh, but let's see. Does anyone, res does, does Philip respond when he gets pounded that hard? <laughs> oh, fuck no. Nowhere, nowhere to go, right? Nowhere to go. Can't respond. When he gets hit that hard, Phil runs. And he does not respond at all. We're not done with the post, though, because you know that Philip has to talk, right? Philip has to say something. Oh, no, he does respond. Excuse me. Excuse me. He does. I want to take that back. I want to take that back. King of Hate HD first comes here and says, Just curious, did anyone actually know what a Team Mad Cat sponsorship actually amounts to? Why does it bother to you? Why does it bother? Why does it matter to you, sir? Are you counting some other people's money, maybe? Okay. Do these pay? Do they, they pay these players to travel and participate in tournaments? Are the players actually required to use Mad Cat's products during tournaments and, and high-profile matches? Wondering what the whole business aspect of these sponsorships really is since SRK makes it front page news when someone new gets signed. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's just jealousy or actual interest. Hmm, what do you think? You seem to know everything about Justin Wong's shitty sponsorships, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Nuclear Attract, that's what they should have said. I wish Cannon Brothers response was that right fucking there. Don't worry about it, Phil. You, don't, you won't be getting these sponsorships, so don't, don't worry about it, Phil. We, we only share that information with people with the sponsorship, so don't worry about it, Philip. The King of Fate HD responds to our new hero, the King of the Night, Dr. Gulag. And uh, I won't hit the button, but I could, but I won't. He says, I'm actually not criticizing the people at all. I'm criticizing SRK for over-glamorizing the pro Street Fighter gamer lifestyle, okay? The original post was criticizing SRK for dick-riding players like Daigo. He's one of the best Street Fighter players. Great. Would I care that he lives a holistic lifestyle? He said in an interview that they asked him. They asked him about it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to learn any life lessons from someone because they're great at fighting games. Who do you learn lessons from? Little Wayne, stay in your fucking lane, dude. Why do you care about Street Fighter? <laughs> Just kidding, legend. People who think that the so-called pros or celebrities or idols who should be aspired to live up to are deluded and sad individuals. No, no. Let, let's do it for gay. Let's go for fucking uh, let's players. That's better. That's better, right? <laughs> I've been there myself. The reality of the situation is that you end up on a grueling travel schedule, going from venue to venue, playing endless a match of matches, lots of times in games you don't like but need to play to make money. How do you know all this? What? You never did this. You did this for certain for a single game and sometimes Marvel's Capcom 3. That's it. Anyways, then sitting around like a fucking barroom. Waiting for your match to be, to be called. You never do anything else because you're stuck at the venue for your entire trip. The lifestyle fucking sucks. Dropping hundreds, thousands of dollars to travel around the country for a chance to win. But SRK will never admit that. It's making the common gamer think the pro lifestyle is something to aspire to is their main business model and way to make a buck. <laughs> this is magic. The amount of delusion and cope in these words. I can't do said thing. So, so, so said thing sucks. Got it? Exactly, Nuclear Tractor again. Because he didn't have friends when he went on these trips. 
But all these other players that people like to hang out with, they had fun on their trips, I bet. I'm not trying to belittle Justin Wong. Right, right. I'd have, you, I'd have to be an idiot to be bitter that I didn't reach the same heights as him in the fighting game to community. So this is very passive-aggressive usage of grammar here. Okay. Reach the same. Hey, hey, hey. In the one game I ever cared about, Super Turbo and her versions of it. <laughs> he has to say that. And or versions of it. I beaten him multiple times in tournament play. Whoa. I've beaten him multiple times. Whoa. Baller alert. I've turned down things. He's done for a buck. Oh, God. We have no time for this. Did Phil turn this down or get didn't get accepted? Please tell me this. Please tell me this. Phil is saying that he turned that down. No, I do remember him talking about this, though. I do remember it. Fuck. This is deep, deep. We're going so deep, Lord, tonight. He mentioned this, though. Ultimate Gamer. I know he shit on Justin Wong's performance. Ultimate Gamer. Ultimate Gamer. I was offered to be an Ultimate Gamer. Here, just going to be... Oh, wait. Let's go farther back. Uh, let me... I'm just going to play the audio real quick. Listen here. She may be the Ultimate Gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like... Oh, get out of here. That's a game. Danganronpa. Get out of here, Danganronpa. So we never talked about the ultimate gamer until, uh, let me hear what he says here. I'm a gamer, I'm gonna give you a hint. Playing, he's been practicing for this World Cyber Games Ultimate Gamer. I'm gonna give you a hint. Justin Wong didn't win, okay? Now I'm not saying that because I know for a fact Justin Wong can't win a, game, a thing like World Cyber Gamers Ultimate Gamer because Justin Wong is a person who focuses only on fighting games. The only reason he's as good as he is is because he plays the living fuck out of them. He has made it his, you know, mission since the year 2000 that he was going to spend the majority of his life sitting there and playing fighting games. And so he's become the best fighting game player in the United States. You're not going to quickly learn how to do that with other games. In fact, he can't even do it. <laughs> With different fighting games for the most part, especially when he fights a specialist like me. You know, I played Super Street Fighter 3 Turbo for a long time. He was trying to learn the game for a while, but then I start I beat his ass every time I played him in tournament. At least, you know, the last <laughs> couple of times when I was actually taking it seriously. And uh, since then, he admitted. <laughs> oh yeah, I beat him a few times, like some when he played someone like me. Okay, I was a specialist. You know, the last couple of times when I was actually taking it seriously. Okay. And uh, since then, he admitted, all right, you're better than me at that game. It's the same thing with these other games. These other people are going to beat his ass at every game type, but these fighting games. And so, okay, thank you, everybody in chat, saying he, he, he didn't quit it because of his back. That's a big difference, right? Ultimate Gamer was on, and uh, I didn't know I had a new season, so I decided to watch it. The first thing I see when I turn it on is Justin Wong, and I'm like, holy shit, you talk about him all the time. Yeah, go then ahead. So I'm playing Tekken, so for the Air Games Ultimate Show for this season. Uh, the I want to hear him talk about it real quick. Hopefully he does here. I want to hear, does he talk about it? Funny story. Here, here's a funny story. I was approached to be part of that show for this season uh, that Justin Wong Okay, what'd you say to, to it then? To be completely honest, if you want my opinion, they probably wanted me over him. Um, and one oh, ho, ho. they probably wanted me every we can, okay? Again, he has to throw shade, and he will do that to his own friend, as we showed earlier with that fucking Rambo on YouTube. To be completely honest, if you want my opinion, I do. We wanted me over him. Oh um, right, and right. One of the agents contacted me, and I was going back and forth with him a little bit earlier this year, uh, very early in the year actually. I believe it was right about when it hit, you know, January when it became 2010. Okay. And uh, spit it I went out. Online, and I started watching some of the episodes from last year to see what it was about, and. Honestly, I don't know. For me, it didn't look that good because, first of all, it didn't seem that much about the games. It was like, okay. Remember, though, remember, he turned this down because he, he turned it down. He didn't want to take the buck, right? Right? That's why you turned it down, though, right? I've turned down things he's done for a buck because you didn't want to make the money, right? That's it? So let's hear why he really turned it down. Okay? Let's hear it. They're gaming, but also here now for, the, like, they... 
if you're gonna play, if it's a baseball game, you play the baseball game. But then they were also actually swinging baseball bats at real balls and stuff, or you know, oh, it's a real dance party. Or I think the one that really shocked me was like, all right, so there was a racing game, but then they had to get inside this Formula One replica car that was jolting them all around like this, and they had to do like a driving simulation. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> is that for you, Frankenstein? What is this movement? <laughs> What is this movement he does? Oh God! Don't do this. Oh, it was jolting them all around like this, and they had to do like a driving simulation. And I was like, you know, if the show was just about gaming, I probably would have done it. I probably would have looked into it. I probably would have done it if it was just about gaming, right? Okay. Okay. Maybe done it, but it's not. It's about all this other shit that seems that maybe even physically taxing. And unfortunately, because it, it's a lot of you, most of you, I'm sure know by now, I have a back injury. Oh, back I can't injury. Do a lot of physical stuff. So just oh. for example, if I were so you couldn't do it because you were too unhealthy to do a fucking game show sports so you didn't do it because you were too unhealthy to do game show sports not even like play an actual sport it means like just swing a bat in that formula one car or whatever and it started jolting. or drive a car you know that very physical activity called driving a car you can't even do that but yeah Let's shit on Justin Wong for taking a paycheck. Around, that could seriously injure my back. Just the wrong jolt the wrong way. And I could be in the hospital. I could need surgery. So, unfortunately, it kind of sucks because here's a show that's supposed to be about gaming. But because the producers of the show wanted it to be more than just gaming. Because, again, people don't know how to sell video games yet. Here we are. Okay. Are, you know, so far into the, tw the 21st century, video games are bigger than movies, yet still no one understands how to sell video games. These producers think that just... I'm sure you know, Uncle Fester, with this shirt on. <laughs> you, you look like you know about a lot of stuff. Let me hear it. So far I've learned you can't drive a car or swing a bat. But yes, you're better than Justin Wong. Showing a show of video game footage isn't enough to, to basically hook people, and so they have to throw all these gimmicks in. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do them um, because of my back injury. It sucks, and if this were like three years ago, I would have been first in fucking line. But it sucks because if it was three years ago, I would have been first in fucking line. So that means you were dying to do it. But then you would shit on Justin Wong for doing it later. Very cool. But because of what's happened with my back, I can't do it. And, uh, right, yeah, right. I know Justin Wong's on there. I knew he was on there because the number one excuse that I heard when he lost the Evo this year, that's right, when he lost the Super Street Fighter 4. To two uh, of course, has to bring up a loss. Yeah, you remember when he lost, okay? I remember really that. Players. The excuse was, oh, well, he hasn't been playing. He's been practicing for this World Cyber Games Ultimate Gamer. I'm going to give you a hint. Justin Wong didn't win, okay? Now, I'm not <laughs> saying that because I know for a fact Justin <laughs> Oh, you know, you know something else. You didn't win. You, remember something you didn't win, but he did win, and you got fourth in. What did you get for that? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Okay, we're going back. We can't. We can't be here all night. It's almost fucking eleven. We got to be done soon. We haven't got the last thread yet. All right, we're nearing the end. I've turned down things. He's done for a buck, and we just heard. We just heard. I love those moments on the show. He would have died to do it. If it was three years earlier, he would have died to do it. He was unhappy. He couldn't do it. But because he couldn't do it, let's make for fun of someone else for doing it. Very cool behavior. Outside of the very inclusive SRK community, I'm more well-known than he is on the internet. I'm more well-known than he is on the internet. Very cool. Very cool. I don't have to travel or play games. I don't want to in order to make money. What exactly do I have to be jealous of? Besides the once a year, he may get some attention outside of SRK by a gaming magazine. Like he did for winning that 10 KMK9 tournament. Why are you talking to yourself? Like literally, this is things for your diary, sir. Excuse me, sir. This is a Burger King. You know the place that you take your wife on her birthday? This is that place. Okay. What is going on here? <laughs> Come on. That's the kind of fluff I don't need or care about. Oh, look at this big man. I don't care about it. The point is, by dick riding pro Street Fighter players, SRK glamorized the lifestyles of Daigo and Justin Wong. Yeah, who would want to do that? Who would want to do that? <laughs> when in reality, shit ain't so great as so, so to speak. Phil is telling you the lives of Daigo and Jay Wong ain't so great. 
and that he is more well-known than Justin Wong on the internet, and he doesn't have to travel. That was his clap back to that legendary post of that gentleman. Well, you know he's going to get attention back for that one. You can't let that, you cannot let that, cannot let that go. Let's hear what CGM Naniwa Tiger says. I have no opinion on SRK's glamorizing of these players, but I will say this. If you truly love what you are doing, the money doesn't matter. In the early days of most professional sports, I'm not saying competitive fighting games are a sport, but that's a whole different can of worms. Most of the athletes got paid very little, but played for the face that, for the fact that they love the game. I don't believe competitive fighting games are any different. If you truly love the games, you relish the chance to travel and meet people from different walks of life. No, oh, no, no. That's where you're wrong. Phil can't meet people because everyone hates him. And he, they already hated him here. If you tr- <laughs> I agree that investing heavily in it with no results can be frustrating. And most people will leave the lifestyle after a while. But it should be, and is for me, about the love of the game. You, CGM, are a normal style person that I'm sure uh, had fun in your time in the FGC. But you're not dealing with someone like you. You are not dealing with someone like you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Next up. Lazy Freddy responds. I had the opposite feeling after reading the Daigo interview in SRK. I think that the SRK post was not glamorizing the programmer lifestyle in any possible way. What I got from the article is that the life of a pro gamer is hard. He talked about what it takes to reach his status. What you see now is a reflection of his total dedication and hard work he put in the game. On top of that, the monetary reward is not that good even as a pro. As evidenced by Daigo's Spartan lifestyle, need to train in friend's house. Basically, the whole article just shattered many kids' fantasy of pro gamers by revealing the amount of work and concentration that is needed. It also shattered my fantasy of beating him one day since it further confirmed how lazy my training regime is. Look at this. And also, I agree with Tiger. This kind of lifestyle is very similar to many successful people in sports and business in the early days. They all had to go through an early phase with little recognition and reward, but hard work and dedication eventually made them leaders, innovators in the field. Most of them eventually made quite a bit of money along the way, but not everyone did. And that's okay, because they had fun doing what they love. Bottom line is, follow your passion, and life will take care of you. Oh, God. Beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful, Lazy Freddy. Second best post of the night right there. And just spitting it. Bye, go now. Thank you, Black Doom. 100,000 people on Twitch. Unlike Phil, could probably get 300. No chance. Amazing. Amazing. Let's move on positively. We are now really getting towards the end. Again, does Phil clap back? Anything, anything left to say? Anything left to say? Anything left to say? Nope. No one cares. No one cares. Phil doesn't respond. He's getting beat too hard. When he gets beat that bad, he doesn't say anything. 4 8, 4 6. Again, totally different topic. Totally different topic. I heard a rumor that KF King of Fighters 13 is getting delayed again until December, but I can't seem to confirm. Anybody know the scoop? Wondering if this is going to affect the next tournament of gaming, etc. Okay, random thing here. Random comment. Uh, someone saying it did not get delayed. Just answering the question. Not a lot of drama there. Okay. Next up. Um, King of Fate here comes in. I heard, just heard that Massachusetts decided to run a tournament the same day as New Challenger and didn't give a crap. Nice. Times really have changed. Also, Ultra Marvel's Capcom 3 seems like a lot of fun, but I haven't had any time to play it besides mission mode and fucking around a bit in arcade mode. King of Fighters 13 comes out this week. And I'll probably play more of that then. So I'll probably only be entering KO Fighters 13 on Saturday. Okay? No one cares. Cares. No one cares. 
<clears throat> 14. 4992. We are working our way there. Uh, so, his opinion on King of Fighters 13. So, King of Fighters 13 plays like old school King of Fighters with special super cancels. Wow. Took them over a decade to get back to the roots, but the game is actually good? I'm playing a straight up fighter again, which is what I've been missing. Looking forward to Saturday now. Two new games and lots of hype. No one answers. No one cares. You get the point. You get the point. Uh, 5041. Um, <clears throat> December is a shit month for tournaments. NEC is this weekend. The 10th is too soon to have another tournament. The week after his season's beatings. This week after his Christmas Eve. I thought he was done with this, by the way. Like, didn't we go through that post of how do what I've done and don't care about this and stay out of SRK? I thought, I seem to remember that happened tonight, right? Okay. Uh, very normal. Uh, in my opinion, fuck it. Have the next tournament the second weekend of January and spend time up it up then. It's not our fault that Capcom decides to release during the busy holiday season amongst what other, other events, games, and things going on. Same goes for King of Fighters 13. Plus, it'll give people more time to actually learn stuff in the new games. Blah, blah, blah. To build up hype. Another guy, Hobby Hellcut. Just my two cents. Uh, okay, this person responds to Phil. Whatever. Let's move forward positively. A few cleanup posts, and then we actually are done with this. Grah! Definitely can't make the 8th as I'll be at MAGFest in Maryland. February 12th, also looking shaky. Hopefully someone else will be able to help out with the stream commentary if, when, I'm not there. But he's worried about the commentary. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, this, this post was a little bit interesting. Philip does say, Hooray! So now Overs Kegma 3 is worthless for at least another month, so I'll be getting a rebalancing patch that also stops the Tekka throw at any time glitch. Capcom continues its pattern of changing shit before the game even gets a chance to be learned competitively. We talked about that literally many months ago now in this thread. And of course, there's no set date for the patch. This is the reason I've barely touched the game and lost massive interest in Capcom fighters in general over the past year. How can you play these games competitively when there's always major changes just around the corner? Those complaining about NEC must not have attended the, attended the past 10 years. It's always massively disorganized, and everyone gets screwed when singles start super late. If you don't like it, don't attend and give Big E $1,000 for a poorly run tournament. Now he's taking money from Big E! More than half of which is recently run by last minute volunteers who don't get a cut. Sorry, that's just sour grapes for when Walter and I ran the entire Street Fighter 4 tournament a few years back and got nothing for it, but a completely wasted weekend. Okay, so you ran a shit tournament and you had a completely wasted weekend. And that was a tournament that you ran. Great. Very cool. Man, I really miss the days of arcades when this shit wasn't all so serious. <laughs> Who's making it serious, please? Who's the one making it serious? I see a lot of dudes writing sentences and you're writing the Bible. Who's taking this serious? I miss the days of arcades. But this shit wasn't all so serious. Right. I have more fun playing random non-fighting games and dick me around than I do with Street Fighter 4 and Marvel's Capcom 3. I thought that's working. I have a nearly defunct fighting game related YouTube channel and I have no desire to even touch these games. What happened? Are you asking us to explain why you don't have desire to play games anymore or what? Nearly defunct fighting game channel. Okay, defunct. The king of, this is DSP Street Fighter, is almost defunct now, guys. <clears throat> what happened, this is a response to Philip. What happened was the top players doing different tourneys and not being present for their match. And, oh, yeah, by the way, I think this is talking about directly Phil, stuff Phil has done that we've seen on the show. He says, what happened was the top players doing different tourneys and not being present for their match. That's a shot at Phil, in my mind, because we have learned of him missing matches once for taking a shit. We covered that on the show in a Pressing Matter episode. Also, not having a cutoff for, for at the door registration. I have more fun doing casual in the room anyway. Anyway, that's definitely a Derek, I, I believe. Uh, next up is LOL 
God damn, Phil, those are some wild accusations. I saw Justin, Justin doing blow right before a match, allegedly. Now, I, could, I couldn't see myself uh, the alleged things he said. Like, nothing was close to Justin Wong doing blow. But uh, I, I was funny, so there we go. Uh, like, it didn't seem like Phil was that. But anyways, this person says, DSP, you've had the same opinion of fighting games every single time something new happens with them. Why not just stop playing? I know I'd certainly quit if I had that much to complain about. You're goddamn right, Iron Trigger. I know I'd certainly quit if I had that much to complain about. I would too. <laughs> oh, right. Dark Souls just got a patch too. I guess gaming is just too serious in every genre. Get fucked. And also, I'm sick of the mindset that a game is made worthless because some changes are around the corner. We're not playing a brand new game. And SRK as a whole is considered a place for competitive players. One of the biggest and most crucial factors is being a high-level player is adapting to change. So it makes absolutely no sense to me that you'd stop leveling up at a game because there's going to tweak a few variables in a month or so. I thought that just deciding to drop vanilla until Ultimate comes out was stupid. But this is just a balance patch. There won't be new characters or anything like that. So, that's, so it's even less of a reason just to give, to give up. Also, Infinite Throw Tekken was beyond stupid and that needs to be patched out. Great point. Great point. You are saying too much smart stuff. All right? Too much smart stuff. Five, 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 three. Five, five. Next one. Five, 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 three. We're almost done. Two left. Um, and this is it. So, sweet. So, Paul has confirmed Street Fighter vs. X Tekken. I can actually enjoy it now. Uh, I won't be able to make the ramp this week because I'm attending MAGFest. Hope you guys can hold down the commentary. You know, watch out for the commentary. Uh, and this, so more interest to that don't jump mini story we covered earlier, we, we c talked about earlier. You guys are still getting baited by don't jump, lol. That's the person I think uh, sounds like DSP. But I guess maybe he's not. Oh, okay, God. Let me see that. I have to see that. Uh, miss, I think he said missing the old days. I want to find that. Um, 5817. Okay, I want to find that. Scientists are saying he did talk about people doing drugs. I want to see that for sure. Because it missed my eyes. But I don't want to have it miss here. Uh, oh, here we go. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I did miss this. Thank you, scientist. I'm going to read this paragraph. It's always massively disorganized, and everyone also gets screwed over when the single starts super late. He's talking about NEC. Okay, different tournament. He says, I think the last time stuff ended, ended on time was when it was held at University Pinball. Maybe if you took drugs to stay alert like the top players do, real talk, they actually do this, you'd do better with your first round matches at 11 p.m. Me? I'm done with that scene. <laughs> so he's, a, he's alleging people do drugs before their matches. Top players. Does that mean, it's, does he, is he accusing Sir Wong or Sir Daigo about this? Oh, man. Oh, man. I hope not. I hope not. But you saw what the community thought. They said, uh, you know, uh, that's some wild accusations there, Phil. Uh, this right here, my friends, January 2012 is the second to last post DSP ever posts on this website. The second to last post that DSP ever posted on this website. Uh, because we don't have time to do all three th uh, threads today. Okay, we don't have we don't have time to do all three. I'm just putting you there. I'm I'm saying it out to you. It's already eleven ten. Uh, I will show you though as a bonus. So I don't want to leave you hanging. Let's look at the last post uh, ever. Oh, real quick, I do want to show this as well. Um, now that I, you know, just a little thing here, a little fun, silly thing. This is uh, don't blow this on Twitch, and here we can have here Phil's commentary. I think this is not. I don't think this is very well known. At least uh, this is new to my eyes. So don't blow this.com, Howard's website. Phil did a little commentary. And I just picked one of the random videos. I don't know if it's funny or not. This was where they played those games, though. Uh, gaming, et cetera.com. So Phil is doing attended one of those and he's doing commentary. Let's see how he does. Just two minutes here. Let's check it out. Yeah, on Super Street Fighter Edition, Chris dropping the Oni and has some really unique Oni gameplay. Yes, Chris is on the left. Ryan is on the right. 
Take a sip. You better take a sip. Sleazy asshole. Great commentary, Phil. You still there? Hello, Phil. Hello. Hello. Oh, bite, bite, bite. <laughs> Here we go. Nope, you got it wrong. <laughs> what was the bite? They cut. <laughs> he started biting and they cut. <laughs> All right, boys. When you see the cut, when you see him start biting, cut it. Cut it quick. <laughs> watch, watch how fast they cut after the bite starts. You ready? Here we go, ready? Cut, 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 cut! <laughs> Here we go. Nope, you got it wrong. <laughs> Names are wrong. <laughs> Someone must have walked by. He might have stolen his backpack. <laughs> Urban style gentleman. <laughs> All right, so round two. First round went to Oni with a time over. Chris Hu, smart gameplay. Chris Hu on the left, Ryan on the right, as I said. Chris Hu trying to find a way in here. Ryan, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Crossover stomp, a miss. <laughs> yeah, don't show Phil. <laughs> so now we have Ryan fighting Ryan on the street. <laughs> oh, Phil making fun of people doing the, the uh, displays on the, oh you know, doing the little effects there on the top, the names. They okay, keep going. There we go. Sorry about that. Philip, Philip, hello. Anything happening here? No. <laughs> Anything you want to say or? Okay. I'm just kind of here watching. Anything happening or? All right. Keep doing there. You keep taking a drink, buddy. Uh, hello. <laughs> it's me, Phil. You you volunteer for this. Hello. All right. So I guess Chris Who takes it. Oh, hello, Rambo. Hello, Howards. Chris Who with the Oni gameplay. Chris Who with the Oni gameplay. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating wrap up of the match. Listen to this. What, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that, Phil? Any kind of takeaways here? Who takes it? Oni wins. Chris, who with the Oni gameplay? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. I, I learned a lot. At first, I wasn't sure, but I did learn a lot there. In the, that, that's, when you said it was the Oni gameplay, that's what I learned the most. I don't know about you guys. I learned it from that. Thanks, Phil. There's a few of the videos there, but obviously we're not going to watch. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is, because clearly we can't do my full planned activities tonight, we could do a, a super special bonus episode tomorrow. Same time. Just going over one thread though. All right. One thread. One thread now, because that's worth it. But I will show you as a, as a kicker, uh, as a kicker goodbye. This is the final, final post that DSP ever did on SRK boards. And it's a response to uh, a litany of hate in defense of the FGC. So I'm not going to play all this. I don't know if you remember. I mean, obviously, you don't, probably don't remember. But um, someone did some very, very fucked up com commentary. Uh, like, I'll just play a little bit here because you want to hear it. So this, there's a female on this. Um, there's a female playing this game that's on the team and the boss is kind of the microphone and it's just very cringe. I'll wait till there's one cringe example and then I'll move on. But this whole thing is extremely cringe. It has to do with Sherry and Miranda. Miranda's the girl's name, by the way. Miranda. And parts of them. <laughs> kind of glad that they're on my team now. I mean, Miranda's- That's their video. I can't do anything about the video. Ignore the video. On my team now. This is like a distraction. distraction. I'm not gonna wear a horse hat. Ain't gonna happen. What do you mean? Like, I mean, she slips up a little bit, but she's cleaning her act up in cage match. What do you? That's the my, yeah, I got her theme. I'm trying to find it here. I'm trying to give one example. Miranda, I want to know your bra size. Yeah, right there. He said, Miranda, I want to see your bra size. Like, just not cool. I mean, I don't care what fucking year it is. This is just not cool. 
So someone, this this genius, decided to take the take the side of the FGC. Like, hey, the FGC is not that bad, dude. You know, like, hey, that's that was bad, but the FGC is not that bad. And yeah, that's that's how this person was going. There's there's more to it than that, but that's a fucking non DSP book. So you know, zero time for that. But let's check out DSP's final post ever on SRK, just for old time's sake, before we say goodnight. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Last post that he ever did on SRK. As you might guess, he went out with a fucking bus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was busted on this one. I want to say this on the whole subject. If Aris doesn't represent the entire FGC, and I don't think he does, his ridiculous blanket statement on stream was insanely unwarranted. Then the fault doesn't lie with the FGC. It lies with whomever was responsible for cross assault and making sure that the participants were in a safe environment. Was this Capcom? Or was it Twitch.tv? I'm not sure. But therein lies... Oh, sorry. Air is. Therein lies the culprit. Thank you, Bacon. On any reality show, there has to be health and safety guidelines. If a big brother, one contestant, stabs another in the chest, regardless of any legal contracts that were signed by the participants prior, the producer of the show would still be legally liable for the incident. <laughs> okay, thanks, Phil. <laughs> Even if... <laughs> You can't force people into unsafe situations and not have any kind of supervision or protection in place, especially if you've made them sign a legal contract to be there for a certain period of time and they cannot legally leave. Any mature adult who watched the Tekken stream knew what Eris was, was doing went totally out of line, regardless of what hundreds of stream monsters were saying in chat. Oh, stream monsters. Before the stream, the trolls, there were stream monsters. Was in the chat, ask him to do. Just because immature idiots ask you to do something, you don't have to do it. Good advice there, Phil. And we know the skates, the stakes here. Cross Assault was the first reality web series in the FGC. It was going to get a lot of media attention. So how on earth do you allow this to go on for days? Nobody is in charge. And nobody speaks up. Nobody monitors the stream. Oh, stream monsters was a real term? Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. I'm learning something myself. There have been numerous pieces of proof that Miranda was uncomfortable during the course of the week, but between getting up and walking out of the room while Aris, Aris harassed her and her literally saying on stream that what Aris was doing over the line, and she couldn't believe that people were like that. If anyone from Capcom or Twitch TV had actually been monitoring their own product, they would have known this had to stop. Shit. At the end of the competition, there was on-air apology to Miranda. So there was a mention of guilt there. Too little, too late. Nobody manned up and did anything. Then you have WNF, two guest commentators making light of the fact that mainstream media had picked up on what was going on during Cross Assault and centralized it unfairly. Yes, the media did unfairly say that the entire FGC that was sexist. But if you any iota of intelligence, you know better than to make fun of the situation all night on a public stream. I'm bored of this. Let's read the end. I don't personally know Aries. I certainly have my biased opinion on him after these events, though. But in my opinion, the only way I can see the FGC coming out of this without massive egg on its face is to make him the martyr. Perma banned him from Evo SRK. Publicly state that this is his punishment for making the FGC look so bad to the public. And move on like it never happened. Hang him to the cross. Burn him. I completely understand that he is probably a great guy in person. How do you completely understand that? <laughs> How do you completely understand that? He's, pr he's been a part of the community for a long time. Lots of people are close, very close friends to him. But to the non-FGCP public, he is the goddamn devil. And the fact that very prominent FGC members have come out defending him actually supports the mainstream media's bullshit stories about how the entire FGC condones sexism. So yeah, cut the strings, let him fly and find a new hobby, and move on. Or else defend him, suffer the effects, and remain one of the most ignored competitive communities in video games for all the wrong reasons. Do you think in any way the FGC is one of the most ignored competitive communities in video games? It's way bigger than street fighting, uh, competitive street speed running, I'll tell you that. 
And I know there's the F, you know the the FPSs that are more competitive. They have bigger competitive scenes, but okay. All right, all right, all right. Got him. That was F, that was Phil's final post on SRK ever, March of 2012. Unfortunately, we do have a few responses I got to get through. <clears throat> Wait, why should the FGC care about what other people think, let alone the mainstream? When I know the mainstream left the FGC to die, nor did it give a fuck. It's fucking absurd that the mainstream comes back to try and make a quick buck from something that was kept alive by passionate people, and people expect, want the community to bend over by the same people that left the community to rot and die cancerous death. It would be absurd to completely bend over for the same people that didn't give a fuck about the scene or community until they saw they could make millions from advertisements. That would simply... That would be simply stupid for the community to do that. Um, I believe there's more responses to DSP. I will see. Um, I'm looking here. Six six five six six. I'm trying to see here. Oh, oh yes. Excuse me. I missed a great one. I missed a great one. <laughs> Who? What? Huh? Why should we ban Ares? The guy's been through enough. He doesn't need to be blackballed. No needs uh, No needs somebody to help, nor needs he needs somebody to help him when he gets out of hand because odds are this is not his noticing when he is doing it. Regardless, if we are going to start throwing fuckers under the bus, might as well start with the King of Wine HD. King of Wine HD in the house. Shout outs to the King of Wine HD. That's our name for the week. Is the king of wine HD. <laughs> Most of your gameplay videos for Street Fighter 4 have been endless streams of fucking whining. Are you talking about 2023 or 2012? If people were to base their perception of you, oh God, this is good. If, if people were to base their perceptions of us w w from your shit, we would be the shittiest place on the planet. As opposed to what we are projecting right now that one of our members fucked up but that his actions ain't what we are about. Oh, oh, God. Partho. Ooh, king of wine. King of fucking wine. <laughs> Sorry, but all DSP does is wine. <laughs> uh. God. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't think DSP insulted you, so so no need to insult him. Leave him to his machinima stuff. So he's already with machinima. And then this person says, sorry, but all DSP does is whine. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> does that matter at all? Okay? I'm not saying he does or doesn't. I'm saying people who try keep trying to make valid points seem to jump and insult others for no reason. DSP made a few valid points despite me totally th thinking throwing errors out is completely irrational. Alright, whatever. You forgot where you are. This is SRK. When an insult is warranted, you take, you take since it adds some style points to whatever points you made already. Fair enough. Fair enough, right? Uh, anyways, um, agreement. Whatever. Whatever. DSP doesn't chime in again. But uh, although I have to say, does throwing insults DSP's way not seem similar to what everyone who isn't the FCC is treating Aries? Sock account warning. Uh, you, yet you don't know the real DSP. Sorry, but think it's a bit ironic that many people here don't like how people are blindly hating Ares without knowing him personally, similar to how many hate on DSP, but don't hate him personally. Okay. Okay. And that will do it, my friends. That will, do, I think it could, I think it'd be, a, a, I could be a fan or, or, or DSP sock. One of those two, right? I mean, I don't know which. But that will do it, my friends. You are all legends. And I will promise I'll do another show tomorrow, 8 p.m., same time. I'll do one thread, and I got a secret special style video. I was hoping to play tonight, but it's definitely too late. Well, you are all fucking legends. Thanks, everybody, for the meaningful contributions now that we're out of jail. Very meaningful. I promise you. Tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. time, WPIG is on air for its pre-show style show. And uh, Peace of Peace is in the house for that being said show. So we'll see you then tomorrow. You're all fucking legends. I got to rest my voice here. Talking too fucking much and laughing too fucking much. A lot of good stuff today, though. Thanks for being a part of it. You're all legends. We'll see you on the next one.
Bye.